that story that we just talked about with the NCAA, because I think that's crazy. What is happening, folks of YouTube? We are live right now. This is the Benched Podcast live stream thing of the things. Hell yeah, and hell yeah. uh, I got my homie right here, Big Lay Law. What's cracking with you, what bro? What up, man? Not much, man. Just yeah. excited to get this thing rolling. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be dope. So um, we'll be covering a lot of stuff tonight. Um, I'll go through a little bit of what we're going to be going through. So we'll be talking about fantasy football, of course, football season's in full effect. And for those who don't know, you're a huge, oh, huge Baltimore man. fan. Yeah. And you've huge been for fan. a long time, so you didn't yeah. just wake up no, yesterday. No, like, this I didn't is... just pick him and be like, yo, Lamar's on <laughs> five TVs. He's, he's I like my him. Guy. I'm no, on it. No, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I struggled through Joe Flacco's years, you know? <laughs> like it's Joe Flacco gave you a Super Bowl, though. Yeah, but I, I mean, mean, it was rough. <laughs> yeah, and that was a stressful rough. That's like me showing love to Rex Grossman. For, <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? for sure, bro. For, for the one season he gave us. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, when the lights went out in the Super Bowl, bro, I was like, oh, we lost. <laughs> We're up 35 to 6, but it's over, This is clearly indicative of what's to come. like, this is all over. That's hilarious. And uh, obviously, I'm a Bears fan. For those that don't know, I'm wearing the Bears cap right now. That's uh, and I'm not as big of a fan as you. Like when they're bad, I don't talk about it. No, like, it's not. A, yeah. It's not a conversation when, when sure, they're not good. Sure. So, uh, so we're gonna talk about um, picks of the week. We're gonna talk about matchups. We're gonna talk about games of the week. We're gonna go through the schedule. Tell you who's questionable, who's not. But I want to start tonight. With something you just told me about we were going outside, I had no idea about, and you gave me a lot of shit because oh, sure. <laughs> I'll be sleeping. Then <laughs> you're like, bro, where you be at? <laughs> yeah. So uh, now I know I just got to forward it to you. You know, what yeah, I mean? bro, I need the I, address at the rock you want to live underneath, and I'll just <laughs> I'll send it by the snail mail, bro. Yeah, like, no, no, what no. Are we gonna do? And then I might check it. See <laughs> um, so, so it's two stories, but I, I, I want to start with the first one, which uh, the NCAA uh, California specifically. Yep. To tell tell the folks. What, what happened out there? I'm so, uh, the California that. lawmakers just approved uh, college players the ability to get paid for their likeness. So, this is huge for anybody that was into the NCAA football games. This might actually, like, um, create a pathway for the rest the of the nation. To get back, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that maybe, you know, they can get these games rolling again. But what's really bit important And I didn't know, this, you, you made a point, I didn't know that they had stopped doing that for four years. The last four yeah, years they I haven't had NCAA games out. It, it might have even been longer than that. That's crazy to uh, me. It might have been 2013 that they stopped making them. It might have been. And so it was probably because of the whole thing. Oh, absolutely. See, what happened was is um, Northwestern, specifically, I believe, if my memory isn't failing me, sued to get paid for their likeness. So when that all went down, EA was like, no, we're not doing the NCAA games anymore. They had to reel it back. They're like, we're not trying to hand out checks. Exactly. You know, and I can't even yeah. blame them for that. I mean, it's yeah. messed up, but at the same time, they don't have to come up a lot. I mean, what do you think they'll pay them per, per like, what can they pay that wouldn't make it crazy? I have no idea, man. It's it's hard to even fathom the numbers because if, if they were put in a position where, I think they had to pull out of the games because if they continue to make the games and not play in their paying the players for their likeness and then something like this came down where you know the players start getting paid for their likeness and they're every, everybody's in unanimous agreement that this should be going on right i feel like back pay would be in order you know what i mean oh big but facts because yeah. they pulled the games yeah. and said you're right it's not fair we're gonna so they covered it was cya yeah, they're like let me yeah. come out but exactly because yeah. yeah. you're right there would be there would be a precedent they're like hey man you gotta yeah. cut those checks exactly and, 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 and that's gonna be hundreds of millions that. yeah that's gonna be hundreds yeah. of millions that's gonna be a lot of money yeah there's kids that play in college and that's it, you know. Yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? yeah. And they and want the they checks, become, yeah. right? They, they, they had a, bro. I was <laughs> say, they over at Winco right now. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly, I need that check. Bro. I need that check. Exactly. No, that, that's big facts. So, um, yeah, that's crazy. And I think with it is obviously going to trickle down. California starts a lot of those laws that oh, end up, sure. you know, passing in other big yep. states. Uh, but what did Tebow say? You made a point outside about Tebow. <laughs> that made me laugh. I was oh dying. God, dude, Tim Tebow, that was man. funny. That was funny. So he comes out and he says, I didn't even want to get paid to play for Florida State. It was just like a pleasure to play for them. Or not Florida State, excuse me, the Gators, Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, University of Florida. He just he just said it was a pleasure to pay for him. But he comes from this family that has money and he didn't like... Well, if I think it's like it could have been a pleasure to play for him with a check too. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> you know what I mean? Everybody's happy when they're getting paid, man. You right, know right. I mean? There's no reason yeah. to have an issue with that. I hate my job for you know <laughs> right. seven days. And right, then, right, right. Then eighth day, I get my direct go, deposit, bro. No, and I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I can live yeah, fine. Yeah, exactly, it's okay. Exactly. Yeah, I thought that was kind of wild to say, especially like just because there's so many people. And, and to your point, I think is like he's not. Uh, he didn't have enough foresight to realize the, no. the hundreds of other players who can't afford. Because you even mentioned folks sleeping in, you know, the, the, the practice facilities. Like cow, man. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. They couldn't even afford to cover their first and last month's rent yeah. with their initial scholarship check, so they're sleeping in the facilities. Yeah, that's garbage. That's, that's, that's garbage. Ridiculous. That's garbage. All right, let's move on, man. Uh, Antonio Brown. Yeah. So and this this is another time where you were like, bro, you you, you need to you need to come yeah, into this society. One actually shocked me a little more, bro. I can understand you're not hearing about this California law, but <laughs> you're like, bro, 
So apparently the homie A B has some uh some problems. Uh rape allegations. Yeah. So right now it's a civil suit. Um it's not Okay. It's not That's good for him. Yeah. Gotta exactly. keep him playing. Yeah. So um I don't know how a civil suit would turn into a legal suit. I don't even know if it can. I'm not I, I don't know how that works. Because I know, because real quick, a sidebar. I know in the uh, O.J. Simpson case, in criminal court, he was, uh, uh, it was not guilty. Not guilty, but in civil suits, he had to pay a ton of money. Yeah. So, 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 so yeah, it's, and it can be different like that. So to your point, yeah. I don't know how that works either. But, uh, so, so it was a personal trainer that he had for three years? I, I believe it was, uh, I don't know if he had her only for three years, but I know the allegations came across three separate occasions over two years, I believe. I think she said 2016, 2017 was when this stuff went down. Uh, and, uh, yeah, she just accused him of, uh, sexual misconduct, rape. Well, my thing, so I always, I cringe at this stuff. So remember yeah. when Kobe went through his joint with oh, the yeah. whole, I cringe at it because it's like, listen, I don't want to be this guy and I, I'm a tread very lightly here. Okay. Mm -hmm. But when you're a million dollar athlete, yeah, absolutely. I don't feel like there's a lot of women that are necessarily saying no to that point. Yeah. If they do, the athlete might be like, are you sick? What are you, yeah. dumb? You know what yeah. I mean? So, so, so it's this really weird kind of... And then my thing is, if you have three separate allegations, why are you still working with them? Yeah. Because after know. the first one, maybe you go... And maybe you talk to them or something, but why would you... You yeah. know what I mean? It's such muddy water, man. Because, like, obviously we never want to blame the victim. Right. But obviously, at the same right. time, like, we don't want to just... Assume he's guilty. Yeah, exactly. I mean, in this country, you are innocent until you're proven guilty. Well, but, well you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not going to dive down that route. Right presumably, you're innocent. Right, right, right. Until it should guilty. be that yeah, way. It right, should be right, that right, way. Right, if everything right. was perfect. Right, but yeah, yeah. like, we, so it's hard, man. And it's a, such a muddy subject. Yeah. So I'm waiting to see what comes out. What we know right now is that he's not going to be set on the uh, commissioner's exempt list this week. And uh, so that means he can play, basically. Yeah, he could. But Bill Belichick has said that he's like still has a way to go to learn the playbook. I so, think he's out there. You don't think he takes no no snaps this week? I don't know. I, I find that so. I find that crazy. I don't think he's gonna throw why? Why? Bill, but listen though, Bill Belichick is. I guess it's Miami though. I was gonna say because you could just yeah. throw him out there as a decoy. You ain't have to do yeah. nothing but walk up the field. Bears, <laughs> you know what I'm that whole defense. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, yeah it's <laughs> the my, Dolphins defense. They all want gone. So. Right, right. When I realize it's Miami, I'm like, yeah, there's really no yeah, point to put him out there. So how do you think it is? Do you, I mean, well, first of all, I want I want your honest opinion. Do you think it's true? Uh, based on what you've seen, I haven't dived into it a ton. There's, she has evidence, she says. I, I'm waiting to see. The league's meeting with her on Tuesday. So I'm waiting to see what's going to happen with that. I know he sent her. I, I read in this, and this is a uh, New York Times article. I read that he, he did. There was a text he sent that said, and I quote, which I, I call it uh, very. It was disturbing to read that he would actually send this. Give me one second, I'm going to find it. Because I just couldn't believe he would say this in a text. Like, kind of dummy argue. Some people say stupid things. I mean, but come on, bro. He said, uh, let's see. Uh. So, um, there were messages from Antonio Brown to this, this woman, her last name is Taylor, and it says something to the effect that the day after she claims he raped her, she wanted to discuss what had happened, and Brown replied that she made me feel like a real rapist. That's not a text. Yeah. You don't send that. Don't, you don't send that text. I don't text. know if he felt like a fake rapist before. Man. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I just, I, don't I, just know. I mean, if you're in court and you have a prosecutor, they will that that alone. Yeah. Oh my God, I don't know why you would send He's that. He's just so out there, man. I don't even know how to feel about the guy. Why do you? How, so it didn't seem like we didn't see these issues in Pittsburgh. No, we didn't. They, they probably were already there, but we never the saw them. I mean, right. of course. But so I, I just wonder what happened. I think he has CTE, dude. Oh. I think oh, CTE for sure. You got some, man. You out here throwing some yeah. some real ideas out here. I, I mean, that's the only thing I can imagine, man. Because it is kind of out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you hear stories all the time about regular people getting in car crashes, and then they're different Never person. the same. Yeah. Never the same. Head injuries yeah. tend to be the number one thing. Yeah. Up, and then he's taking perfect some lit him up. That was it? Yeah. <laughs> you said that was the play? I know when it started. Yeah. Right then and there. When Vontez Perfect lit him up, dude. It was like, oh my god, is that guy even alive? Yeah, anymore? no, that really? was that was one of the that worst of hits the I've ever seen in my lifetime. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That was crazy. Sure. Damn, what if that was it, man? What if you just diagnosed the, the whole drug. joint right there? Hey, give him my doctor. <laughs> I need yeah, some I don't more know. Dope. I know things. <laughs> I need some more. No, dope. that's crazy. But that's yeah, crazy. I think uh, I think that just messed him up, bro. Not to mention, man, just getting hit over and over again. I mean, yeah, receiver, running back, those are tough positions to play. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, this is something I've talked to actually with a lot of parents about, like football, like. Let's say, in some space-time continuum deal, you had a, a little dude. Would you want him yeah. to play football? Um. Yes. But, yeah, yeah. But, you would have listen, that. Listen, no, I listen, like it. What's um, up? Because I love the game so much. Yeah. And I wish I would have played. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
So, but I would let him know exactly how what it's about. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I would, I wouldn't put him in Pop Warner. I'd probably wait until like high school. Yeah, you know, I yeah, mean, I'm with can, that. I'm he with can that. play anything, bro. You can play baseball, soccer, whatever. You'll be in physical condition to play right. whatever you want once you get to a higher age. But and you just tell him the facts. Be like, listen, it's a brutal sport. You're gonna take hits. You can, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. there's dangers. Yeah. And if they, if he understands it and he wants to play, he can play. I'm not. I, mean, I wouldn't force him. I wouldn't be right. put rolling him out there at eight, eight years old. Get like, out there. Yeah, taking his first <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean. Um, I saw a clip the other day of Leonard Fournette's son. Did you see that clip? Yeah, he laid that little little dude out. I'm like, he, he's going to be in the league. Yeah. <laughs> he's five years old yeah. running dudes over. Like, that little like, kid got jacked, yeah, he was bro. not ready. Leonard Fournette's like, yeah, that's yeah, what's yeah, up. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. What are you feeding your son? Yeah. <laughs> Mexican supplements. <Yeah. laughs> I, I personally, um, I, I, I wouldn't. I, maybe you made a good point about high school, and I think high school maybe. maybe but, um. That stuff worries me, man. Like, your whole personality can change. Your composition yeah, is who you yeah. are can change. I just, I don't like it, yeah. man. I don't, I don't, it's not. Now, granted, when you can pay millions of dollars to do it, I feel like it's a little bit more risk-reward situation. Yeah, for sure. Um, but think about it. Like, Junior Seau, you know? Yeah. Like, like I just, that's, that's sad, man. Shot himself in the chest so they could study it first. Right, like, he made it a point. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's crazy. All right, let's, let's move on, man. I don't get too, get too down here. Uh, so the next joint I uh, w- wanted to talk about. Let's get into games of the week. Let's talk about right, the games this sure. week. Uh, I got the schedule put. I don't know if you can see that. Can you, you probably can't see no, that. No, but we'll, you can read too. I read it. <laughs> I can do that. I can read. <laughs> um, so first game off the top, San Fran and Cincy. Who you got? Uh, they're playing at Cincy? Playing at Cincy, yep. Um, so I'm really interested in this game about Zach Taylor's offense. Okay. Uh, you know, coming from the Sean McVay system. He was just a quarterback's coach. But Sean McVay, that's the young man out in uh, the Rams, right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what's crazy is, man, like... He's like 32. This, I know. And this past offseason, off that was like the flavor of the month. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. wanted Sean McVay. The coaching staff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can know all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Zach Taylor was his quarterback's coach in L.A. Okay. And they brought him out to be a head coach right off the bat. Straight from quarterback's coach. I'm so, noticing that the, the, the uh, age of NFL coaches is decreasing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's interesting, right? And, it's, and it, to me, it's like, I don't know that that's like... I mean, I guess it makes sense because yeah. they can relate to players more, more uh, innovative offenses. Yeah, exactly. And w- you know what's funny is uh, Michael Bidwell, the owner of the Cardinals, came out with an interesting. Yeah, because they just ordered a young, you know, yeah. hired a young dude. Yeah. yeah, I mean he's like uh, thirty nine, I think, but same deal. Young for yeah. Uh, I mean uh, Belichick is what yeah. damn near seventy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he thirty nine? He's either early. He's either late thirties, early forties. I'm, I'm yeah, not so yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. But uh, what he said is, listen, we could have hired because you know they cut a lot of flack for hiring a losing coach. Texas Tech, right? Yeah, Texas yeah, Tech yeah, yeah, yeah. coach. And uh, he said we could have made him our offensive coordinator and lose him in a year to be somebody's head coach. That's so they're thinking point. like, you know, we might as well just make him the head coach and go from there. So with these younger guys, you know, they're just, it's almost like throwing a dart at the wall. You know what I mean? Like, is it going to hit? It might, you know. Well, so. and, and, and McVay is interesting because he got them to, what, they got to the NFC game, championship game yeah. his first year? Yeah. And then Super Bowl the following year. Yeah, so it's kind of like, I mean, yeah. granted he had a ton of talent, though. I, and I always laugh at that because I think about the Steve Kerr, Mark Jackson thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's oh, like, yeah, sure. but the talent <laughs> was kind of, not, not to say that Steve Kerr is a dope coach. It's not yeah. even a question. But it's just kind of like, eh. Yeah. So, so uh, it'll be interesting to see. Um, so who you got? Uh, I actually have Cincy in this game. You got I really liked what I saw last week. Uh, Andy Dalton threw it. Andy Dalton is the most inconsistent quarterback. I know, and it's since interesting to me. Jay Cutler. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows smoking Jay, but, but uh, smoking yeah. Jay. Um, you know, it was a real funny shit. Real quick, she watches that Cavallari show with him on it. Yeah, she's like, I really like Jay Cutler. I'm like, I don't, don't, don't talk to. I don't. We can't. That's not something you can yeah. say to me and it'd be okay. You look at him sitting on the bench, <laughs> acting like he'd rather like, be anywhere else. And right, yeah. I just remember him riding that bike and and I, would, I, I think it was that might have been an NFC title or it was uh, the game before that. He's his little fingers hurting. Yep. Yeah. God, man. So you got. Uh, I. I. Uh, so I, I don't know in this game because I don't like Dalton. I think yeah. Dalton's really. Good. I think when he's good, he's up there. Yeah. I. I have. A, I want to see more from Jimmy G. I remember watching Jimmy um, in that season that he had what the four game stretch where he was just cold and he was just yep. he was slinging it. I think San Francisco's got the better offense. I mean, I, I think they got Eifert, they got Boyd, they got receivers to throw to, but I just don't feel like he gets a ton of time. Yeah, it's just. And that's what I was really worried about last week when they played Seattle, because that offensive line is trashed. I mean, they lost Andrew yeah, they're garbage. two yeah. two years ago, I believe, to the Rams, uh, and it just hasn't been the same since. You know yeah. what I mean? When they lost that cornerstone left tackle, it kind of fell apart. Yeah. But the offense just was. Uh, it looked good. Joe Mixon's gonna play, so. I mean, oh, I didn't know Joe Mixon's coming. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had an ankle injury, but he practiced on Friday. <laughs> Speaking of like off-field stuff, do you remember that tape? Joe Mixon tape. 
Yes. You ever see that? Oh, yeah, 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 I, saw it. I shouldn't be laughing about that. That is hands down one of the most heinous oh, things. Yeah. I've, oh, yeah, that and the Ray Rice were the top two of my whole oh. life. I just, Rest I were going. <laughs> he never came back. No, did he? he disappeared, he bro. Never came back. He just faded away like Thanos snapped his fingers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's just Thanos. gone, bro. I like the Thanos <laughs> reference. Gone, yeah, bro. but 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 that Joe Mixon was was up there too. I'm surprised he had a career after that. I'm gonna actually go opposite of you. I'm gonna actually go San Fran. I feel like they need to okay. get a win. And uh, I feel like Jimmy G is going to have the porn stars on deck. Yeah, they're going to <laughs> Cheering them on from the side. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Making them right for the game. Yeah. All right, so let's move to the next one. Uh, L.A. and Detroit. I think that's uh, uh, the Chargers. I should be specific. Yeah. The Chargers and the Lions. Um, you know the Lions? <laughs> Real quick. So uh, we were at Native, and the uh, Lions-Cardinals game was on. Uh-huh. And I'm like, man, the Cardinals are trash. And we left. Mm. So you missed the best part of the game. Of course I did. Yeah. I get home and like it's a tie. I'm like, yeah. what's a tie? How did yeah. it was it? Man, that's Kyler Murray went in the back, put some ice water in his veins. Something. Ice water slash like cocaine, cocaine killer, something. He came out like a cold killer, man. Yeah, he just started like he'd bombing. been there a million times. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, and then the bad part is I had Fitzgerald on my bench. He went off. Oh, yeah. Of course. For sure. For sure. So, uh, um, so real quick about the Chargers and the, and the Lions. Um, you know, the Lions played a really good game against the Cardinals last week. But it obviously fell off the rails yeah. at the end. Like there, the Cardinals had no business coming back in that game. Um, Their defense is kind of kind of garbage. The Lions defense, yeah. Kinda kinda I mean, they handled them for three quarters. But Kyler Murray's a rookie. We'll we'll talk about him when we get to the Arizona game. Cool, cool. But cool, uh, cool. you know what? I'm just gonna go with the Chargers, man. Austin Eckler's balling out. He like, is. Oh, yeah. Melvin Ingram, is Gordon on a spot when he comes Melvin back. Gordon, <laughs> yeah. Melvin Gordon's in trouble, dude. Like, yeah, he's losing his. Collateral, real quick, man. But see, so. but see, that's that's the crazy part about flashes. I'm not saying Echo is a flash in the pan, yeah. but the thing about it is, like, Gordon's been good for seasons. Yeah. So I always feel bad for dudes that have been good for a long time, and yeah. then this dude just comes out balling, and it's like now the coach is like, well, well you know what's what I mean? weird about Melvin Gordon is like he's he's good, but. One season, he averaged like 4.4 yards per carry, which is a good running back. That's what you want. You know, two carries. You rain man. <laughs> no. uh, but previous to that, like, it was like 3.8 and 3.6 for the previous two seasons. Okay. But he was still scoring, well, one season he was scoring touchdowns, and his rookie season he obviously wasn't. Yeah. But, uh, so it's it's been a weird career for Melvin Gordon, but I feel like he has a talented enough back, but I think he's kind of shooting himself in the foot with this. Like, Austin Eckler's going to handle business. Justin Jackson's behind him, and he's going to handle Is Gordon holding out? Is that what it is? Yeah, he's holding out. I didn't realize he was holding out. Yeah, and it's a different situation than Le'Veon Bell because Le'Veon Bell technically was not under contract because he didn't sign his tender. Mm-hmm. So Le'Veon Bell was losing money in the sense that he wasn't getting paid. Right. Melvin Gordon is losing money in the sense that he's getting fined. He's getting fined. What are the fines? Is that like 20? Uh, I don't know the numbers. Because that can add up, man. Yeah, 16 games. That, that ain't going to play uh, with. So he will definitely report by week 10. And it's... Oh, sorry, go on. He'll report by week 10 because that is the latest he can report and still receive a year against his contract so that he can be a free agent next season. Okay. Okay. So he does have to play to get that free agent. Yes, he does have to. Whereas so, Le'Veon Bell was kind of like... He could have came back in week 10 last year and gotten that year, you know, signed mm-hmm. his tender and that was it. But... Because he wasn't a tender, he wasn't assigned to a team, it didn't affect him. You know what I mean? If he yes, held out past yeah. that, the only risk he was running is that the Steelers would franchise tag him again. So. And, well, and it's a bad situation when you're a guy like Gordon and your your backup is killing it. Because yeah. actually, James kind of did the same thing when Bell was out. Yeah, exactly. He took the, he took the, uh, the spot and ran with it. Um, what do you think about dudes doing this? I actually, I don't have a, a problem with guys holding out because this is the chance for them to get their money and they have to stay oh, yeah, that. for sure. I mean, because... Obviously, you want to bet on yourself, but like injuries is one play away every play. Exactly. You know what I mean? Would yeah. you Would you pay the man? What would you do? Would you um, renegotiate the contract? So it's tough, dude. This, the uh, Chargers are infamous for not paying their guys. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Philip Rivers been there like seventeen years. <laughs> yeah, well, that's one. That's one thing, dude. He's a quarterback, but. Uh, he probably was like, look, y'all ain't got to pay me. I'm, not, I'm good, but I'm not elite. So yeah. it, it is what it is. I'll take what I can get. Yeah. I live in San Diego. I got Diego. nine kids to feed. Right, 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 exactly. But, he doesn't uh, like kids, don't he? It's nine. I believe it's nine. Is he uh, like a Mormon or something? Uh, I think he's a Catholic. He I'm also sorry. doesn't swear. Have you know? Have you ever, I know. Yeah. God darn it. I've yeah. been seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool, low-key. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's a good role model. Yeah, that's kind of cool, low-key. So I would not pay him. No. But at the same time, I wouldn't have been like them. They refused him the right to uh, seek a trade at the beginning of the season. Like I would have let him do his thing. If he, well, but why give why give power away? Look, because why, why give him that option if you hold the cards? All right, well, don't play then. We got this other dude that's killing. So you, you hold. Yeah, all well, the, you know what I, I mean. Yeah, I know. And the, but I'm not trying to spite him. But if he's gonna hold out on me, I don't want him. 
You know what I mean? True. You want to come play for True. me? I'll no, that's you. a good you know point. I mean? Yeah, because you yeah. like either get in or get out, bro. Yeah, We're not exactly. doing this whole thing. We're not thing. doing a little dance. Yeah, I'll yeah, pay yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. going to come play for me and I'll pay you. And then if you can seek a trade where you actually get some good pieces back, some exactly, good assets. Bro. Yeah, you know, that makes sense. Yeah, so. so who you got? Chargers or the Do you say Chargers or I think you already said that? I said the Chargers. Yeah. Okay. I just think they're a more consistent team. I'm I'm I'm, I'm agree with you on that. Right. I think it is crazy the last few years they've made I think they played made the playoffs last two out of the last three years, I believe. I could be mistaken. Then they made the playoffs last year, I think they did. It might have been a wild card game. I don't know if they were in like, you know, after yeah, that. They lost to uh But um they've consistently been decent. Their defense isn't so bad. So they always finish like thirteen three. But yeah, they're always they're always, in the but they, right, right, <laughs> yeah. right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They are they're a better team than you'd believe. All right, let's move on. So um, we got Minnesota and Green Bay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is actually a really tough one. I don't think either team is great. I don't yeah. think either team is bad. You either. want my hot take? Yeah, no, please, I think, please. I think Aaron Rodgers is about to be done. Career? Career. Why? That <laughs> you 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 can't be dropping <laughs> bombs and then just leaving silence. Uh, yeah. I have just you know I've felt. That he has been wildly inconsistent the past couple of years. And I just think it's coming to an end, dude. You're not the greatest forever, man. You know what I mean? So, uh, that Chicago game was disgusting. He made some great plays. But at the same time, I watched him sail easy passes that high school kids are making, bro. He was throwing out routes to his tight end that he couldn't hit. You know what I mean? It just it seems like the beginning of the end for me. So Wow. that's I, I, I got to be honest with you. I feel like that's a little bit of a reach. Right, but 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 if, I, if he does a Andrew Luck week seven, he's like, I'm good, man. Well, I don't think he's gonna retire, but I think his time at the top is coming to an end. Okay, so you think he's gonna fall off? Yeah, I think he's stay in Green Bay. What's his What's his contract? You know his contract. Is oh, like? he'll stay in Green Bay because Green Bay historically holds on to quarterbacks for way too long. So we actually got people in the chat. I didn't realize it until oh, like, I just looked over. Bad. What's up, guys? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouts to so shouts to Samar. Shouts to Solo. Appreciate y'all being here. Uh, Shamar had a take. Uh, Shamar is actually one of people's already on live stream. He's dope. He's actually a producer. He's like 18. He's ridiculous. Oh, awesome. Uh, but uh, he said he wouldn't mind his son wanting to play, but he'd educate him like you said. Yeah. He preferred basketball. Some agreed. And then we got a Rocky side. I prefer Saki. baseball, bro. You seen those contracts? They get paid. <laughs> yeah. And look, and baseball ain't that yeah. physically taxed. And they're retired man. for 10 years and they're still getting paid. Yeah, bro. yeah. It's so, crazy. Yeah. So shouts to Rocky Saki. Um, I, I, I don't know you, Rocky. You're new to the stream. Thanks for being here. Please hit the like and the subscribe button. Show us some love. He yeah. says Rivers are golf to start in fantasy. Uh, and so let me tell you who they got this week. That'll probably help uh, the decision making. My bad. So, golf is uh, at home. Golf has... Give me a second. Da, 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 da. That's uh, that's slipping my mind or something. I, oh, yeah, he's at home. New Orleans up. Their defense ain't that great though. Um, yeah, I like golf at home. I take Rivers in that. I think the defense of uh, Detroit is trash. I don't, I don't think they're very good. Okay, I'm taking golf, dude. Okay, though, so, there's too many weapons on that team. Uh, I like what they're doing sweet. with Gurley. Like, I know people are like, oh, Todd Gurley. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they want them. They want they're him splitting, to be splitting the reps though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which is bro. interesting. Uh, that might be good late in the season. Though. Yeah, that might be awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like golf this week. Golf at home is always better than golf on the road. He has historically struggled on the road, so okay, I would take him. I would I would take him at home. Okay, so I, I'm going with uh, Rivers. Homie Big Layla is going with golf. He's probably going to be right. Let me give it a bug with you. <laughs> this man is is entrenched, and I am uh, a more than casual fan, but uh, but I, I don't have the statistics like that. So Wifey asks, can we review our lineups um, or or let us know how we did last week? I think that's actually a great idea. You got like four squads going, oh, so pick geez. one of your four. I don't even want to talk about last week. <laughs> did you week have a bad one? week? Oh yeah. yeah. Week one is always a struggle. For because well, you're feeling it out. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. And more importantly, like. We see things in preseason, we're like, oh, that guy's going to get the reps, you know what I mean? Or, yeah. That guy's going to do this, or that guy's going to do that. And then week one comes out, and they're releasing these these depth charts that have Matt Breida as a starter, and you're right. like, oh my God, right. what's, what's going, going on? on? You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. So it's always rough. I unfortunately got bit by the Tyreek Hill bug, injured week one. I'm watching Sammy Watkins go off on my bench. I'm like, all right, great. You know what I mean? So I won in one out of four leagues, but I expect this week to be better. How, how do you balance... Four leagues. How do you even do that? <laughs> I just do it, man. <laughs> I've, got, oh. I've got a dynasty league. I've got a uh, three-piece keeper league. I've no, got no, a okay, hold on, hold on. Explain to the folks with three-piece keeper. I don't know what it okay, means. Okay, three-piece keeper so, is I'm just keeping three people off, at, off the team. Uh, there's a little bit of interesting rules in that league for us. We have to sacrifice three rounds up from where we drafted them the previous year. If they're a free agent, we keep them in the 12th, 13th, and 14th round. Okay. So, uh, actually, that's wrong. 13th, 12th, and 11th round. Gotcha. So, uh... 
That one's a little difficult because, like, for example, the number one pick in our league this year is still keeping Alvin Kamara from his original rookie deal. So we have it set up that we can keep them two years in a row. So he still has Alvin Kamara. He's keeping him at a great value. I think he kept him, like, the 12th round this year. But then he also drew the number one pick in our random, our random draft order. Gotcha. So he's running Saquon and Alvin Kamara. It's rough, dude. Yeah, but, uh, you're not going to win. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to win against that team. It's difficult, weeks. man, for sure. Yeah. But uh, I went zero RB in that. I didn't take my first running back to like the sixth round, I think, and I mean that's probably actually my best team right now. That's okay. the team I actually won with the league. Uh, with and you one. and you put dollars down on all these leagues. You're not yeah. out of free. You're <laughs> yeah, not yeah, out of doing freebies. You're out of uh, three fifty this year so far. Bro, I told you your two jobs: <laughs> uh, sports better <laughs> or scout. <laughs> what are the other needs to happen? All right, so we just talked to Minnesota Green Bay. So you said you think that uh, Rodgers is about done. You think that's that's coming to a close? Down. Okay. Yeah. I, I just don't know how you watch him miss some of the throws he's missing, and it's he's not. He's got rec- a lot of new receivers, though. but it's not receiver timing, man. It's not. He's overthrowing these guys, man. Maybe they're not. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm watching the routes. Do you, do you think the routes are timing routes? Yeah, they're out routes. They're out routes, and he. That's obviously, honestly, what he misses on the most, and te- and they're one of the most difficult routes to hit because yeah, because they're technically running toward the side. Yeah, they're running towards the side. Yeah. It's hard to hit, yeah. but he's not even getting close, man. Well, it'll be. I'm, I'm glad you said it's now week one, so yeah. we can track it. You yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah, if they because if they start going downhill, you, yeah. you know, um, there's people in the industry that think he's going to throw for three touchdowns this week and that he's going to blaze the Vikings, and I just don't see it. I got a lot of because I personally been on the the wrong side of a lot of Aaron Rodgers games. Yeah. I can't co-sign that. Because <laughs> I just see way too much of him whooping, just doing things that he in the pocket. He's Brady like with a little bit more mobility, and I can't like that to me. If you can move and just extend plays long enough to get a guy open and hit him, because he has that arm. That arm hasn't gone anywhere. No, and that's what's crazy is he's still hitting on these deep plays. Like he'll make a. That's what I was talking about when I see these great throws. Yeah, which is like a forty-five yard bomb to Devonte Adams or whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like I see those great throws and I like them, but then I see him overthrow these out routes. Or I see him overthrow a slant across the middle, and I'm like, "What's going on here?" You know what I mean? What if it's something as simple as him not being a uh, good anymore? heading? No, heading again. <laughs> what what, what, what if he's not into it no more? I mean, that happens too. Yeah, dude. I mean, I don't know, man. You don't know? I just think he's on his way. Down. I'm, I'm. Listen, it doesn't last forever, man. No, that's a fact. And what is he? Thirty six. I don't know. That's Brady though. <laughs> I like their defense. Dalvin Cook is playing out of his mind. We think yeah, it was great for Dalvin. Cook. And he he hasn't been good yet. Dalvin yeah. Cook hasn't really broken out yet. Yeah, Mattinson, Mattinson behind him. He's a good running back behind him, dude. I mean, and then they got the receiver core, Thielen, Diggs. They gonna catch the ball. I mean, yeah. uh, Kyle it, Rudolph dropped a zero last week, I believe. I'm excited for Irv Smith Jr. But what really quite, what really made me scratch my head, man, is when they drafted Irv Smith and then they extended Kyle Rudolph right after. I don't know what's going on with that. So that tight end situation is really. Do you think they're gonna run some two tight end sets or something? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, Irv Smith was out there like uh, over 50 percent of the time last week. And is he right. a good blocking tight end? Uh, they're both kind of utility tight ends. Okay. Irv Smith is a really good pass catcher, though. Let me okay. Let me ask you this about this game, and then we'll move on. Do you think it's gonna? Be, do you think the point score at the end is gonna be more than seven? This. Oh, the spread. Yeah. No, this is the type of game that can it's gonna be tight, right? Three and they're in the same division. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. like doing. I don't like betting lines in yeah. the same division. Yeah. Like divisional games are because because they, they know each other. They it's know like each other. and they have for years. And they play each other hard. Yeah. Man. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's a fact. Dude, that's the fact. Dolphins have beat. The Patriots, like, the last four times they played in December. I believe that. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in December, the Patriots probably ain't trying as hard. Let's be yeah, honest. Exactly. They probably but, locked up the... Yeah. But, no, that's a fact. All right, so I'm, I'm actually on co-signing. I'm going to go with Minnesota as well. Yeah, I just... I Green, I don't I don't trust Green Bay. I feel like they've had too many changes. I, and I don't... First year head coach. That running back situation. And Rodgers, at the end of the day, he's kind of a dick. He is a dick. He's just not the type of dude you want to go have a drink with, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, like, no no thanks. So, all right, let's move on. Indianapolis, this is an interesting game to me. And, and by the way, as we go through this, if you lock on a game, it's your game of the week. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Listening. No, no, we haven't so, hit it yet. Uh, Indianapolis is Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee went crazy. Yeah. Where, who was Derrick Henry? Where, you, know where, what's I crazy? Mean, you know what's crazy, dude, is they completed four passes to wide receivers last week. That's a crazy stat. I didn't see that. Four That's a crazy. So who are these running backs all day long? Or what? Uh, and tight ends. Delaney Walker had a hell of a game. Uh, they completed three to A.G. Brown for, uh, I think it was like 106 yards on a touchdown. And then uh, one other one to um, Adam Humphreys, I believe. Got you. So in my league, I had the chance to get uh, Derrick Henry, and I had him one year, and I was, um, uh, to say the least, I was frustrated. Because, I, you know, it, it just, it, it didn't do anything. It was bad. He was bad. And, I don't know if it's because he's banged up. I don't know what it was, but he looks like he's actually a decent running back. You know what's weird, dude, is... Um, he's boxy, though. Yeah, and it's all about positive versus negative game scripts. 
So when the Titans are leading and they can lean on Derrick Henry to just run out that clock, he's going to have a hell of a game. Because he's the type of running back that likes to build up that head of steam, right. get 10, 12, 13 carries before he breaks one off, you know what I mean? Right. And what's so crazy, dude, is you watch him run, you're like, bro, I can run past him. Yeah. He looks but slow. Then he, but then he's outrunning defenders. So I'm, I'm glad like, you said that. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm watching one of them runs and I'm like, yeah. hey, somebody can tackle him. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like if you're playing Madden, you're like, so somebody should get over there. Yeah, this exactly. is nonsense. Yeah, yeah but, he, but he took an 80 yarder to the house. I mean, that, it's crazy, dude, because you're right. He looks slow. And then you're like, but what's we'll running that guy? And he's out running that guy. Yeah. So what's happening? It's like, I think he's going to be a free agent after this year if they don't resign. So, so yeah. Because you know, he would have yeah. been a first round draft pick. Um, what's he crazy, hasn't been good, though. Yeah. He hasn't. Has I just want to be clear like about that. He hasn't been good. games the last season, right? Yeah. 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 And, yeah. What, and those crazy, were crazy yeah. games, though. And he talked to somebody, man. And I don't remember which legendary running back it was, but whoever it was told him, get his shit together. <laughs> yeah. He basically said, bro, you're 240 pounds. Stop acting like you don't want to get hit. You know right, I mean? yeah, yeah, Run yeah. These it's, guys like, over. it's like you're yeah. a big dude. I think you know, it was yeah. uh, Barry Sanders, to be honest. I think that's you're like you're not me, bro. Off the top <laughs> of my head, I think it was Barry Sanders that said, "Hey, put your shoulder down." You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's kind of yeah. dope to have a conversation with Barry Sanders. Yeah, and he was in like, my life to have. You're right. right. <laughs> you know I mean? like, oh yeah, I guess I am a big dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, what do you think about Indianapolis? Uh, you know, the Andrew Luck retirement just rocked him, man. Yeah. At the beginning of the season, I thought they were going to go to the Super Bowl. Like last year was great. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. But I like Jacoby Brissett. I think he's a good A lot of people are high on him. Yeah. Uh, he just signed that extension with the team. Who knows what that really means. But. Did you see Andrew Luck's retirement speech? He actually said, like, I thought it was the dopest thing I've ever seen somebody say in a public forum. Maybe not ever, but close up there. He said that he was jealous of Jacoby the season he got hurt because yeah. he saw this dude coming in. He was all fun-loving, and he's like, I hated that. And I'm yeah. like, how dope is he going to be honest about yeah. Like, yo, that, that was hard to watch. He said it sucked the life out of his yeah. life. It sucked the fun out of his life. Too. Yeah, that's crazy. And you know what? I'm not – they booed him, bro, coming off the field that day. That, that last that's game. fans, though. And I it's had awful, bro. But no, but it's not. That's fans, it man. It breaks my heart, bro. He's He's got to know that could happen. Yeah, but, like, they watched his first four years in the league – or for, actually, sh- shit, man, first five years in the league, bro. He was getting killed behind that offensive line. You expect him to be, like, good to go? You know what I mean? Like, well, all I'm saying is, like, you have to understand football fandom. If you don't get how fans are, then I can't, yeah, I get I can't feel bad for you not understanding that right. that's how fans are. Uh, I don't think, Do I think they should have booed him? No, but they did. Yeah, and, it's gross. You know. <laughs> but, uh, side note real quick, the Colts are letting him keep the $14.6 million. I saw that. I saw that. I saw so that's that. a good move by them. They know they, they got him killed Classy. for six seasons. <laughs> like, so. We lacerated your kidney. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. just in case you have future uh, medical issues, we got you. Yeah. So, I like Jacoby Brissett in this game. Who are they playing again? I forget. Tennessee. Tennessee, right. Uh, however, I am picking the Titans. Okay. I think that defense is too good. Uh, Mike Vrabel, obviously a defensive head coach, formerly under Bill Belichick. Um, I think they get blown out. The, the, the Colts? I think they get blown out. I don't think they get blown out. Okay. Uh, it's a divisional I'm, game. I'm calling like 20. Yeah, I just have I don't know, man, because I like Mariota. A lot. I've liked Mariota since he came in the league. Really? I think he's scrappy. I think he can he can extend plays. I think he's got a good arm. I think he's accurate. And I think see, he's that's a the QB. piece of the times I don't like. You don't like Mariota? I think they should roll out. Why is it the short quarterback syndrome? A lot of people don't like short no, quarterbacks. No, I don't have any problem with the short quarterback. Okay, so what is uh, it? I don't think he has the fire, man. There's been too many times. He's quiet. <laughs> uh, maybe because it's, it's just like, a personal opinion of mine. Yeah. No, that's I've cool. Seen him, I've seen him sit on the sidelines when he's hurt or whatever. And it just doesn't seem like he cares that much. She's so. slamming his helmet. I, I know about court, uh, apathetic quarterbacks. Yeah, I know all exactly. about apathetic yeah, quarterbacks. Exactly. I don't think he's apathetic, though. I just think that uh, he's just more soft-spoken. It's not be, his. Because be he, he talks a lot about his parents. And I don't know why I know so much about uh, 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 Marcus Mariota, but I've seen like interviews yeah. with him. He talks a lot about how like when he says things sometimes after games, his parents have been like, no, don't say that. Yeah. And so I think to, with him, it's like more of a... I don't want to deal with them, which is weird, but cool. When you're a grown man, you shouldn't really be worried about that. But, you know, yeah. some people. So, all right. So, I, I'm going to take Tennessee as well. That's who you picked, right? Yep. So, so far, I picked to the week. We got, uh, I took San Francisco. You took Cincinnati. We both took uh, the Chargers. We both took the Vikings over mm-hmm. Green Bay. And we both took Tennessee over Indianapolis. This next one is uh, easy. This is uh, New, Orleans, uh, New England and... Uh, yeah, we don't need to spend any time on this game. <laughs> it's New England. Who are you taking? <laughs> it's New England by 50, bro. So, um, so yeah, this is going to be a blowout. Yeah. This is, this is an 18-point line from Vegas. 18 points? Wow, Vegas don't give lines like that. That's crazy. So, crazy. Okay. I think it'll be more than that. So. We'll, we'll breeze along. Buffalo, New York. You like Buffalo. I love Buffalo. You like Buffalo. I don't know why you like Buffalo so much. Buffalo. Dude, it's something about seeing fans slam each other through tables, man. I just love it. <laughs> like, like backyard wrestling? Yeah. Barnyard uh, wrestling? Uh, yeah, I like Josh Allen this week. Uh, I like 
John Brown in that offense. Josh Allen has a big arm. He finally has a deep target he can get the ball to. True. Um, Who else he got, though? Who's their running back? Their running back? Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, that guy. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is important. Devin Singletary, dude. He's a rookie. I don't know who that is. Okay, well, he's a rookie. Okay. And you know what's crazy is, uh, like, on all the athletic chart numbers, like, he ranks really low, but he's getting it done, dude. Uh, their starter is technically Frank Gore. But Frank Gore was out there for like 27% Frank of the Gore's snaps. Frank Gore's also 96. Yeah, he's also... <laughs> <laughs> he never dies, dude. He just I keeps know. playing. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Isn't he like number four all-time rushing? Like, he's up there. Yeah, he's up there. Bro. That's crazy. Um, but uh, Frank Gore's technically a starter. They also have TJ Yeldon. Um, but Devin Singletary's getting it done, man. And he's definitely looking like most talented back on that team. And more importantly than that, Josh Allen can run, man. True. So. I don't. I don't dislike Buffalo. I'm just not yeah. where you at with More him. importantly, who does New York Giants have? Saquon. That's it. <laughs> well, I named four people. On they the literally list. don't have any receivers that I know of off the top of my. Sterling Shepard's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not, and he's a B at best. Yeah. On, a, on good days, he's a B. Yeah. You Golden know? Tate suspended. So. so who's taking him? I mean, this is a pretty. I think oh, Buffalo's a little bit better. Yeah, I would take the Bills as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Giants got smashed this week by Dallas, and I don't think Dallas is as good as people say they are. I like Dallas this year. You like Dallas we'll this year? Later. Okay. All right, Seattle and Pittsburgh. This is a toss-up to me. Uh, In Pittsburgh, right? Yep. I got Pittsburgh. Why? They look. They look, I watched that whole game, and as you know, I don't get a chance to watch a lot of whole game. I watched yeah. the whole – that was the – I like. I actually like the Steelers. I've always liked the Steelers. They've been kind of like my third or fourth team, and I just, I just kind of like them a little bit. I don't know why. It's probably because I like Tomlin, and I've always liked their defense. I like James Harrison. I like. I, I like. But they were bad, man. I mean, they were bad. Like it was to the point where I'm like, man, can we just get this over with? Yeah, it was bad. Uh, that's the game you chose to watch the whole thing of, huh? Well, listen, <laughs> it was on, and I had time. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you're like, good pick, good, good pick. No. Uh, other than last year, Big Ben has always been better at home. Last year, his numbers on the road were actually a little bit better than. They is he were done home. yet? Uh, you think Rodgers is done? Come on, man. Maybe, dude. I mean, it's so weird. So man. they put up a stat uh, in, in that game when I was watching it that he's getting passes out the fastest he's ever gotten in his career, but he's doing the Brady thing. But he doesn't have Brady receivers, yeah. and he doesn't have Brady accuracy. So he's doing these little dink and dunk, ten yard, seven yard, whatever, mm-hmm. whatever. But he doesn't have receivers that are getting the ball and being able to uh, make people miss. Yeah. And he's just not that accurate. So a lot of them are coming short. You know, Brady will throw a ball at your ankles, but do the catch it. Yeah. Ben can't do that. No. And you know what's strange, dude, is last week they targeted Dante Moncrief 10 times, dude. He's not good. He's not. Dante Moncrief has never been good. I've never seen a game put out by a wide receiver that looked that bad, bro. He Where dropped, was Vance McDonald? He dropped everything. I don't know. Man. So I think what they're going to do is they're going to evaluate the game tape from last week. They're going to see that, okay, let's not throw the ball to Dante Moncrief. <laughs> right, right. You're not getting passed. <laughs> yeah. You're not getting the ball. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, uh, thanks. So, I don't know, man. I just have higher hopes for him this week. And Seattle didn't look that good either, man. Andy Dalton threw for 418. I, I like Russell, 400, Russell uh, Wilson. <laughs> Russell Westbrook. I like Russell Westbrook too, bro. Russell but probably Wilson. not on the football field. <laughs> Dude is a beast. I don't know. But no, 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 no. no, no. Uh, Andy Dalton lit them up for 418 yards, bro. Yeah, defense is bad too. And they haven't had bad defense in a while. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just like. I don't think Pete Carroll's a good enough coach where he, he'll, he'll be able to game, yeah. game plan. I mean, Mike that. Tomlin's a good enough coach. Big Ben is a rally enough veteran. They just don't lose two in a row that often. You know what I mean? I need James Conner to get some more. I don't, I don't know if he's banged up a little bit. That's why they've been splitting carries. Uh, he's sick. Dude. He had a, a cough or something. Come on, man. You're <laughs> yeah. a football player. I don't need yeah, that right now. a stomach bug or something like that. Who's been telling me somebody had mono? Uh, Sam Darnold has mono. He's going to be out an inde- indefinite number of time. They're expecting two to four weeks. Hey, man. Check your girls, man. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> For sure, man. Um, so who you taking, though? You never gave me a, a pick? Steelers. I'm taking Steelers. Taking the Steelers? Yeah, I like the Steelers and all. I don't want to. I don't. Wanna. I mean, I don't like the Steelers ever. But I, well, I, I know you're <laughs> actually when I was saying that. I'm unbiased. When I said that, what the teams I watched, I'm like, oh, I'm getting yeah, judged right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Um, for sure. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with the Steelers too. I just don't think that uh, Seattle has enough weaponry. They really, they got lock it. They threw the ball like. Uh, who's the? I don't know who, who's the running back. I don't even know. Chris, Chris Carson. Carson. Chris Carson's nice. But they're really cutting things between Chris Carson and Rashad Penny. Chris Carson's the better guy. Rashad Penny's been there for a few years now, hasn't he? No, he just got drafted last year. First round. Oh, play. he's a young dude. That's right. Yeah, That's right. I'm thinking about somebody else. Okay. All right. Uh, but yeah, I'll go Pittsburgh as well. So uh, Dallas and Washington. Dallas. Dallas is yeah. going to murder him. I love Kellen Moore. Kellen Moore as the offensive coordinator is such an underrated move. Sounds like a familiar name. Where's uh, he, from? he was from Boise State University. Okay. He was one of the most accurate college quarterbacks of all time. He oh, okay. Got yeah, by yeah, the Cowboys. yeah, 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 yeah. What happened to his career? He can't be that old. He's only 5'8", bro. 
just didn't work out. Oh, I do remember Kellen yeah. Moore. Was that the year they went perfect? That he was a quarterback? Or one of the years? Because he had like three good seasons there, didn't he? Oh, at Boise? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He balled out the whole time. Yeah, yeah. He was He's really one of the most good accurate there. college quarterbacks of all time. Are you 5'8". Maybe Maybe. get him lifts. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Get him some knee extensions. I feel, I feel like he's got to be in the league still. Yeah. I feel like that's messed up. But, no, I mean, he's carving out a hell of a career for himself. And you know what? I think they might be following the same mold that everybody else is. Because Jason Garrett, they didn't extend past this year. So they might be seeing what Kellen Moore looks like as the offensive coordinator. They might promote him. Oh, so they, he might be getting the job soon. He might be getting the job, man. Wow. Wouldn't that suck to know that you didn't get extended and they got this new guy and you're like, and he's doing well. You're like, yeah. oh, shit. Dak threw the ball deeper last week. Like, more times deep last week than he has in his entire career. Real quick, is Dak a good quarterback? Um, I think Dak is the type of quarterback that in the right situation, he's a good quarterback. Good I, system. system. Yeah, he needs he's a system. system quarterback. Okay, okay. Because I like them athletically. I like my quarterbacks when they can have a little bit of speed. Yeah. That's the thing that's blown my mind about Brady all these years. How you run a 5, 6, something, 40, and you, and, and you still win games. Yeah. I think in this league, you got to have a little bit of that shaking. Nowadays, you do for yeah. sure. Like, and, and, and Dak has that. I don't like his accuracy, and I feel like he's not confident. I just yeah. don't feel like he's a confident quarterback. I've seen him crumble. I've yeah, yeah, and, sure. and that's what I don't like about him. I'm going to also go with Dallas. I think Washington's a dumpster fire um, in just a lot of ways. I, yeah. I feel like they're going to be at the bottom of, of that division. Uh, okay, Arizona-Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore. <laughs> How many? That, now, this isn't just a homer pick. Uh, Is it a route at halftime? Because I, I feel like they look good. I watched it's, some of It's their... so dependent upon how Kyler Murray feels and looks, man. For the first three quarters of last week's game, he looked like a rookie quarterback that didn't – not that he didn't belong Let's in the Let's not league. act like they got a good line. No. And he looked like he was lost. You yeah. know what I mean? And the whole offseason, they've spent all offseason talking about how this is the same system he ran in college. This is the same system he ran in high school. He's going to come in and he's going to be smooth. You know what I mean? And yeah, we just saw, 80 times faster. Yeah. We saw that flash <laughs> yeah. in the fourth quarter where he's like, wait a minute, I know how to do this. Oh, I've seen this before. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. So uh, I commend him oh, for that. Oh, by the way, hold on. Let me pat myself on the back real fast. Mm-hmm. What, what did I call that you that you doubted me the whole way through with I don't Kyler? Know. You're gonna have to tell me. No, you know, you know. <laughs> I you told know? you they was gonna take him. Oh, and you geez, were like, no, they're not gonna do that. No, they're not gonna do that. That's because <laughs> any logic that an NFL GM has ever had, bro. You don't I take, you, bro. I couldn't believe it, bro. I was shocked. I'll admit it. Uh, it was almost like the uh, the double fake out, man. You know what I mean? Because yeah. every expert in the industry is saying they're taking Kyler number one, and the Cardinals are like, no, we're not. You know what I mean? Well, what would they say? Why does it matter? You don't like to in, in in life in general. I've found keeping things close to your chest pays off more than being super duper. There's nobody picking them because everybody knows. Well, that's, that's, that's a good point. Like, what are you gonna do? And not only that, but they didn't move their quarterback that they drafted the year before until the second round of the next day. Right. No, no, no. You, you, that's a good point. My thing is just if you leave other teams in suspense, you, you never know how you're gonna affect their the game plan. You know what I mean? Right. I guess that's why. I don't. That's why I would do it. Yeah. I wouldn't have been transparent about it. why. There's, there's no benefit in being honest. Yeah, but like. I just, nobody's picking me for you, bro. <laughs> like, what the hell does it matter, man? So, uh, you're taking Baltimore uh, by how many points? Do you think it's going to be a blowout or do you think they stay with him? Mm. Based on what you've seen the last the last quarter, is it could be indicative of how they start the game tomorrow. I doubt exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. I, I mean, and they're in Baltimore. So. It's, yeah, which is not an easy place to play. No. Um, and I think Lamar, I think he got it, man. I think he does too, I man. think he got it. I've been defending my quarterback all but, summer but long. But let me say bro. this, though. Let me say this. Because uh, he went to Cincy, right? Lamar? Uh, no, Louisville. Louisville. Yeah. And he was cold at Louisville. I remember he watching cold, them games man. going, I remember watching them games going, this dude can play. And they would never, he, I think he got some highs in love maybe his last season. But yeah. I, I don't feel like they ever really gave him, I'm like, I don't know, man. I think dude can do it. And now, at the end, he's got a good running back. His receivers are good. He's got a good squad. He worked his ass off this summer, man. You was there, right? You was down there. No, <laughs> no but I read the reports, man. He <laughs> wants to be an NFL quarterback, yeah. man. That's why he came out after the game against Miami. Granted, it's against Miami. Not bad for a running back. Yeah, not bad yeah, for running back. Crazy. I like it. I love it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah, want to yeah. see him succeed, dude. Not just yeah. because he's my quarterback, but because... You respect the work. Yeah, I respect yeah. the work, man. Yeah, if you're yeah, going to work your ass off that hard, yeah. I don't care if you're the Steelers quarterback. I want to see you succeed. That's what's up. That's big from you. Yeah, man. <laughs> I mean, if somebody comes in the league and they're struggling and they t- work hard enough to turn their career around... They- that's what matters to me. That's what's up. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's easy to respect. And he doesn't seem like a bad dude. No. He seems like the type of dude that he goes home yeah. at the games. He's not in the club being stupid. No, he, like, doesn't. he doesn't strike he me as that kind like of dude. He seems like a nice, you know, yeah. wholesome boy, bro. That's, that's, <laughs> and, that's what, and honestly, that's what you want. He loves his mom, man. That's what you want from your quarterback. You want yeah. a dude that's going to go home at night, not be in the club, yeah. not be on boats before playoff games, Odell Beckham. Yeah. You don't need all that. You know. Start wearing $350,000 watches. Right, right. Game, 
Hey, hey, hey. Loki did have baller though. But you know what? He didn't even have it on during warm ups. So he put it on for the game. Bro. <laughs> that's up. How you put, listen, he put a mansion on his wrist I know, before dude. he went. To, that, that's kind of cool. All right. Um, so yeah, I got Baltimore. Uh, I'm going to say by two touchdowns at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking Baltimore too. I don't really think that's honestly a conversation. Um, Jacksonville and Houston. What's up with Jacksonville? Uh, well, they lost Nick Foles, broken clavicle. He's on injured reserve. How, listen, how Nick Foles' career so far has been the craziest thing in the history of man. <sighs> yeah, I don't understand, bro. He had that year with Chip Kelly where he threw 23 touchdowns with two picks. Then he was trash. And then he was trash again. And then he had that year where he was the backup for Carson Wentz. He wins the Super Bowl. And then and now, boom. Yeah. He's out. Is he out what? Ten weeks? Uh, well, he can't return until week 11 on the designated return list. So. In the world of music. But hey, dude, that Garden Minshew kid... That came in to relieve him. You sound like you sound like a, a Dominican dude. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a lawyer, bro. <laughs> you should look at him. But uh, he looks like he'd be doing your taxes. But uh, like he came in and went like eight of eight. Yeah. In his first eight passes, it was the greatest start to an NFL career of all time, like statistically. There's only down to go from there, though. <laughs> yeah, I, know, dude. I wouldn't want to have so, that guy. I want to go and throw a pick, my friend, just to get it out yeah, of the way. Exactly. Dude. Yeah, that's crazy. But uh, so we'll see what happens, man. It's a mess. Is uh, Houston a sleeper pick for the Super Bowl? I think everybody should be. I don't think they should be a sleeper pick. I think everybody should be. Because I don't think people are really talking about him. Deshaun like Watson's the he's, guy. He's the man, dude. Sidebar: How good is Clemson consistently now? Are they the new? Uh, oh yeah. Are they the new Alabama? Yeah, Clemson's amazing. Trevor Lawrence is a generational talent. And isn't Clemson in South Carolina? If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. How are they that good? Trevor Lawrence. They don't play football like that. So yeah, I don't know, man. They play lacrosse out there, yeah. bro. Uh, right, I'm telling you. Well, no, let's talk about that real quick because <laughs> okay, I'm very yeah, passionate yeah, about Trevor Lawrence. I watched. Uh, I was watching the national championship. That's the game. golden hair boy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was watching that national championship game. He is 19 years old, bro, and he's showing better pocket poise against an NFL line. Because let's be honest, Alabama's line, defensive line is an NFL Fact. line. Fact. Against an NFL line, he's showing more. Calmness under pressure than like ten year veterans in the league are doing. Cause he high. He looked like he high, bro. He's stepping Surfer, up into that bro. He's out there. And he's making those. Passes. <laughs> I was he's like, okay. What kind of weed? I was it's good. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. the kind of guy that, you know, that Rams deal that they paid up. Uh, they were able to trade out of to the Redskins for RG three. Uh-huh. That's the kind of team. That's the kind of guy that you make a deal to trade up for, like yeah. that. Yeah. Generation. You like, him, you like him a lot. I a lot, a lot. Dude. Yeah, he's great. First round. First number round one draft, overall number pick. One. Okay. Okay, all right. Number one overall pick, and if I'm not in the number one overall pick team situation, you're getting there to get him. And I'm getting there. Mm. I okay. think it's great. Dude. That's big. All right, I might have to start watching more Clemson games. Yeah, Clemson's uh, great. Anyways, let's. What were we talking? Houston. About? Houston's a choice on this one. Houston against who? Jacksonville. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, Jacksonville's defense for supposed to be being so big and bad looked really bad last week. Yeah, and, and I like Tim Smith. He was one of my favorite defensive yeah. b- uh, football players I've seen in a while. He's but you quick. know what? More importantly than that is they looked undisciplined, and that concerns me more than them looking poor. If you come out and you struggle against a good offensive team like Kansas City, I understand. You go coach, bro. <laughs> but if, if you come out and you're getting ejected from the game and Jalen Ramsey's talking sh- shit after every single play, I don't want to see that, bro. You know what I mean? So that's more important to me than them looking poor. You, 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 you don't like your players talking shit? Uh, I like them talking shit, but I don't like them to the point where they're almost getting in a fight after every single play. Okay. Which is what Jalen Ramsey was doing. Okay. So. Okay. All right, fair enough. Let's move on. And then uh, Miles Jack got ejected. Yeah, you shouldn't get ejected from a football game. No. I feel like that's difficult to do. Like, it's different like a basketball game. You spit on somebody or something, but you push somebody. Yeah, you know, right. But in a football game, that's that's a little crazy. All right, so let's move on. Uh, Kansas City and Oakland. I think this is an interesting game. Did your game of the week hit yet, or are we still? I like this game. I like this game, too. I yeah, like this, this is an interesting game for sure. Yeah. Darren Waller is a baller. And Darren Waller, the tight end for the Oakland Raiders, is like a very high... He was a sleeper pick. We're going to get into sleepers. But yeah. He's, a sleeper pick. Uh, he's a very high athletic profile guy. And all throughout camp, all you heard about was Darren Waller's humiliating guys. You know what I mean? Like Embarrassing him. Yeah, embarrassing him. That's what's up. So, yeah, I like... And Josh Jacobs, he's everything you, that was advertised. Somebody in my in my, uh, in my my league took him like, uh, like third or fourth Second round. overall. No, they took him like first. Oh, really? In my draft, yeah. And I, no, oh. maybe it was the, you were in there. It yeah, was, was second round, wasn't it? Was okay, round. it was the second round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is interesting because he was in like uh fifth But I remember thinking to myself, I'm like, man, that's that's, that's high. Yeah. All right, so we got uh, Rock Out. Shouts to Rock Out. Sorry if we got to you late. Uh, bro, thanks for being here. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Thank you, man. He, he said he got a trade. I got a trade for Cam and get Wilson or Big Ben. Who would you pick? Trade Cam Newton? He said, I got a trade for Cam. 
and would get Russell Wilson or Big Ben. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. Yeah. Um, I feel like Ben has more firepower to throw to though. <laughs> Tally Lockett, DK Metcalf, Chris Carson out of the backfield, who did have a good week. He got out of the backfield. Uh, and last... Russell Wilson just does well. I know. That man will lose uh, a lot of games. I don't. Damn it, man. Big Ben's tough, bro. Because he had a bad week one, so we don't know. He could come out next week and throw four touchdowns. Yeah, and he could. Yeah, man. he yeah, could yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I think they're gonna figure it out in, in Pittsburgh, but I also think they're gonna figure it out in Seattle. But he needs to move out of camp. Camp is looking bad. Yeah, you so. say you think he's hurt, and it was interesting. And that's why I lean on you for my football expertise because you be in the trenches. Yeah. So you said uh, you think he's hurt because he's not running. Yeah, man. Uh, Cam Newton's traditionally always been a very mobile quarterback, and he's trying to pocket pack to pass, man. You see him break the uh, Guinness World Record for one-handed catches? No, I didn't. Yeah, see, I saw something you didn't see. I'm oh, proud really? of that. Yeah, yeah no, he, he did, did though. That? Yeah, one-handed catches. Yeah, it was Why? weird. It was, I, I don't know. It was weird, but uh, it, it was actually kind of cool to watch. Yeah. Uh, well, he's so, not playing tight end, so that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, Why are you wasting your time? <laughs> yeah. The coach should have been like, get your ass in the room. Yeah. Room. Do what you do. And his throwing motion's looking weird, dude. I don't know what's going on with that. He's never had a smooth throw. I know, motion. but like all of a sudden he's throwing it like he's throwing a tomahawk, man. I don't know. Yeah. You know a lot about like do you watch high school football? No. I feel like you need to be out of these high school games. <laughs> I, I know, man. I don't watch high school. I watch like, college football. Okay. Um so Rock out there you go to homie Lean on Big Late Law. He's got some really good sure, knowledge. Sure. He's saying uh, go ahead and get uh Russell Wilson. I think I would agree with that from the standpoint that Russell is a lot more likely in my opinion to score a touchdown. Yeah. I feel like Big Ben can't cuz Russell will run for one or two. Yeah. You know, but, but Ben can't really do that. And I feel like the uh, Seattle offense is a little younger and a little bit more spry. I just, I kind of feel like they look sluggish in, in Pittsburgh. They just they do, don't man. look like they, they got do. any fire. So, uh, there you go. Let's get into the next one. Uh, sorry, I got to get back to my joint. See, I got to go in between the screens so <laughs> I can make sure I don't miss nothing. Uh, all right. But, yeah, Houston in that game, for sure. No, that was Kansas City and Oakland. Oh, okay, Kansas we City and Oakland. We, we just started. We just, we just started. started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I like this game, bro. Uh, Pat Mahomes got a little banged up. He was getting hit a lot in week was one, he? man. He was getting hit a lot. And they were looking nasty, bro. They weren't just like, oh, we got you. You know what it I mean? It was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, pops. Sure. He's so, young, though. He can recover yeah, from that for now. Man. You know, and he's... He, uh, he practices the end of the week. We're good. Uh, he's good to go. But uh, Tyreek Hill injury is a concern, obviously. How long is he going to be out? Uh, four to six weeks. Damn. That's tough because he's lightning, man. Yeah, but kind of what, I mean, it's an awful situation. And. Obviously, Tyreek was found innocent, whatever. No charges being pressed. Oh, I heard about that. Season. Oh, but, my God. Um, yeah, that's crazy. But the Kansas City Chiefs drafted somebody because they didn't know what was coming. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they drafted Miko Hardman in the second round. Uh, he's a good talent. Andy Reid came out and said that he's going to be splitting Tyreek's receiver? opportunity. Miko's a receiver? Yeah. He's going to be splitting Tyreek's opportunity with um, Robinson. Who's another receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs? Real quick, hey, shouts to you, Rock Out. Like I said, man, hit us with that like and uh, subscribe to the page. Absolutely, We're gonna be man. doing this Absolutely. every week. And like I said, my man here has got the, the knowledge. Knowledge. I'm gonna step my game up. I'm getting embarrassed now. <laughs> so no, I'm, I'm, good, I'm gonna man. get my life it's together real good. quick. But I'm sorry, go on. So they're uh, splitting the opportunity. They're splitting the opportunity. I don't know what that means. Obviously, they're not. But uh, the guy to own right now is Sammy Watkins. Obviously, he went off last week. If he can stay healthy. He can have a productive season. You know what I mean? It's always just been the injuries that have plagued him. He's a fast receiver. He's got good hands. Yeah, he was nice. Yeah. Did he come out of Clemson too? Yes, he did. <laughs> that was the Clemson. He came out of Clemson. Oh, man. Clemson. Uh, oh. Came out of Clemson, was drafted by Buffalo, became a Ram, and now he's a Chief. Talk a little bit. Why didn't he stay in Buffalo? What happened there? I don't know, man. They he was him. not getting the ball out there. No, he had a good rookie season. Uh, because it was week three, and uh, the Cardinals were going to you know, run Kyler out there a little bit more, and obviously I'm interested in seeing Kyler play. Uh, you low key like the Cardinals. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, you got a little. They're, they're the local a little, team. It's a little love. They're the local team. All right. Well, you know, I just because you never speak on them, but I'm listening to you talk, and I feel a little love there. You know what I love is Kyler Murray. I love Kyler Murray. Okay. He, o- Oklahoma, right? Yeah, he was incredible, man. He looked. How about this Jalen Hurts? So real quick, Jalen going to going to Oklahoma. Oh, he's and a ball. That's crazy. Bro. He is a ball. No, I thought bro. he was terrible at Alabama. Though I no, watched a lot of his games. I didn't think he just lost his job to Tua. He didn't look that good to me though at Alabama. He won games. It's all matters, bro. It's he all about winning. Like a great pass. Anyway, he didn't on. look like he does in Oklahoma. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But he was getting the job done. But, I mean, Alabama quarterbacks are never anything, dude. A.J. McCarron is one of the most Tua's winning. Nice, his, though. Winning his court. Maybe. Two is nice. Maybe. Two is nice. I'm, I'm going to call that now. Two is nice. I think he's soft. Well, he is. <laughs> he's always concerned about his daddy beating him or something, bro. I'm like. Hey, it's a real concern for <laughs> some people. All right, let's get back into the video real quick. Uh, yeah. So, um, Derek Carr, we, we don't they played to win that game, bro. They played to win a preseason game. 
So if that's the attitude they're bringing into this season, I think they're going to be in a lot of games. So uh, star players for them, I know they got they got a decent running back, right? Uh, Josh Jacobs. Yeah, we talked yeah, about that. Okay. I like Josh Jacobs coming out of the bench. Who they got receiver wise? They got a uh, Cooper, right? No, no Cooper's, Cooper's on the uh, uh, Cowboys now. They he got, was there last uh, year. Yeah, who's who? Uh, God, man, I'm spacing. His they don't name. have a lot of. Receivers. You know what sucks is he's a talented guy, and he was always stuck behind uh, Keenan Allen in um, San Diego. Tyrell Smith. Tyrell Williams. Williams. Williams, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you, thank you, man. Tyrell Williams. See, I don't know some. <laughs> uh, he's a fast guy. He's got good hands. Uh, they got Darren Waller, who's that tight end that I was talking about. I, I got, and real quick, I got Rock Out has more stuff. He said two flex spots, full PPR, Tyrell Williams, Cooper Cup, Duke Johnson, or Singletary pick two. Singletary and Cooper Cup. So the homie says Singletary and Cooper Cup. I'm actually gonna go. Uh, I'm actually gonna go Tyrell and, and Cooper Cup. I don't like Duke Johnson. I don't know about Singletary. I would go Tyrell and Cup. Uh, the Giants are awful. Singletary is the most talented back in that backfield. Bro. On the Giants, though? No, Singletary plays for the Bills, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, for this week. Yeah, for this oh, week. Oh, That's okay, what he's asking. Okay, about. okay, okay. So okay. Singletary. Uh, okay. Is the but most the Bills talented. got a decent defense, though. The Giants have a decent. The, defense. the Bills. Yeah, the Bills is the that's who oh, the single player. Okay, I'm tripping. Yeah, we're, I'm tripping. we're we're working it out, brother. No you problem. Say, you say I got it. Relax. Singletary plays for the Bills against the Giants defense. Gotcha, it's gotcha. trash. Okay. The whole team's trash. Okay. <laughs> so Marcus, I don't want to say trash, this again. Bro. I don't want to repeat myself. They're yeah. not good. Yeah. Oh, They're man. almost as bad as Miami, dude. I believe it. Okay. And hey, listen to the man. Don't listen to me. I said I said Tyro Williams and Cup. He said Singletary. Uh, Singletary and Cup. Singletary and Cup. But uh, full PPR. T- Tyrell Williams is a fine play this week, man. Kansas City's defense is suspect, as always. That's an offensive team, and it's going to be fireworks. So, well, and if I you like, want a piece of that game, and that's the piece you have, I don't hate it. I liked uh, Tyrell Williams because I remember uh, watching him. I had drafted him when he, when he, he was in. Uh, he was in. Uh, he was with the Chargers, mm-hmm. and he. I thought he was good. I was. I don't know. I don't throw the ball to him. I didn't understand it. Yeah. And so now that he's getting his shot, that's that's kind of why. That's yeah. And with why. Antonio Brown gone, he's a the guy. They've got Hunter Renfro, who they drafted out of Clemson. And uh, <laughs> he's their, I'm going to buy a Clemson yeah, jersey he, tomorrow, he, he's bro. He's their slot receiver, but uh, yeah, I like it. All right, let's let's move on here. So, who are you taking? Kansas City. Yeah, I'm taking Kansas yeah. City. I think that was uh, kind of a no-brainer. <laughs> yeah. Session game of the week. That is my game of the week. I think that's going to be a high-scoring game. Let's go over under on points in that one. Um, I'm going 51. And you're going over? I am going to take the over. I like that. I'll take over. I was going to say 53. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> I, I like when I'm close. Yeah, I like I when I'm close. I think the actual line is 53. Is I it? think that's the over-under. Okay. And I'll go over. I, I guess it for real good. All right, yeah. good. I mean, Kansas City, their defense is always suspect, man. Yeah, they don't. Well, and I think Andy Reid teams, generally speaking, don't, aren't good defenses. They're not strong no. defense. He's never had it. Even when, even when he had McNabb out there, my boy, yeah. they still didn't have a good defense. Yeah, like, remember when, uh, what was the, yeah, it was the Super Bowl when the Patriots just, Shit on with yeah. the screen passes. Bro. Yes, because and they, the defensive never... coordinator is screaming on the line. It's a screen. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, like, my God, man. Uh, let's get to the next one, Chicago and Denver. Who you got? Chicago. Yeah, thank you for that. Yep. Um, you hate Flacco. Speak, I don't hate Flacco. I don't, I don't hate know, Flacco. man. I just, some deep-seated. <laughs> Flacco. If I was a therapist, I'd be like, yo, you got some yo, deep-seated. Flacco stuff got us our second ring. I respect him. But he's not a good quarterback, man. No. He's never been a good quarterback. I think he has an arm. I like. I like. He's got a, yeah, but you know what the problem is? He doesn't use it. Man. In the last two seasons, he's thrown like six point four yards on average. Is the deepest. Really? Yeah. Like that is his depth of target. He does him. He does his stuff. That, I think it's him. I think he's getting old, man. Yeah, don't don't want to pull that shoulder. Yeah. Don't yeah. want that rotator cuff to get in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, I feel like I, I feel like so you take a Chicago. Okay, so tell me what you think about my Bears, man. Are they are they legitimate? Listen, uh, people be shitting on Trubisky. I like Trubisky. Do you? So last week was rough, man. It was bad. But and, and, and was I don't blame Trubisky, and nobody was giving credit to the defense of the Green Bay Packers. That uh, that defensive line looked nice. Uh, I don't think they letting him uh, run the offense enough. I think yeah. it's his second year. He's learned the offense. Let him run it himself. Third. It's his third year. Is it his third year? Yep. He's okay. drafted the same year as Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes sat for a year. Did I miss a whole year? Why? I, maybe I didn't this is this. Well, you know what? I got an interesting question for you. You like Trubisky. You guys yeah. took him at third, third overall. Yeah. You could have had Pat Mahomes. Yeah. Or you could have had Deshaun Watson. Why are we talking about this? Going back. <laughs> Going back. Why are we talking about Going this? Going back. Why are is this the conversation we're having right back? now? Yeah. No, I mean, listen. Look. I think... Uh, Mahomes came out of Texas Tech, right? Yeah. In our high school on offense, they, they sing it all over the field, right? Yeah. That doesn't translate, in my opinion, to the NFL. Oh, it did. 
Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. No, but but I'm saying from a more realistic standpoint. Yeah, for sure. And you don't see a ton of Texas Tech QBs in the league. Yeah. So I, I got I, I can't fault them for that. I mean, do I wish they were smarter? Yes. Yeah. How many uh, UNC quarterbacks you seen in the league? But but I will say I will say he was more pro, he looked more pro at yeah. that time than Mr. Trubisky did. had like three games or the, or not three games. I'm sorry, one season under his belt, right? Yeah. I was comfortable watching him. When I saw his highlight tape and I watched him in his game, I watched a little bit of his game film. I felt he looked like he was comfortable. He looked like an NFL quarterback to me. Yeah. I um, like Trubisky. Deshaun uh, Watson, I think that was a wild card too because he was such an athletic quarterback and he did run a lot. He came out of Clemson, bro. Well, I, well, I know Clemson now. I didn't know Clemson then because he was the first quarterback from Clemson yeah, to do it. Okay, for sure, for sure. but uh, but I didn't have the knowledge I got now. I, I don't I don't mind what they did. I think they 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 used the knowledge they had. I think they wanted a good pocket quarterback. I think they didn't want another Jay Cutler who wasn't that great in the pocket. So okay. they found a pocket QB. Um, I di- I think he's there. I think Trubisky can be fine. I just think they needed to trust him to run the offense. I think I think uh, my man um, what's his our coach's name? Love that guy. He's a good, good naggy. I think I think he's handcuffing him a little bit because he's afraid to let him make mistakes. Here's my thing. We can go six and ten this season. I'm fine with it. Let the boy get out there and do his thing. Let him throw yeah. the ball. Let him make mistakes. Let him fumble. Let him do those things and get out of his system. Yeah. Every good quarterback needs to go through that. And if you if you try to prevent that, it's like with the kids, man. Let them. They gotta scrape their knees and shit. Yeah. If we oh no, then they never gonna get you know. So I think he's gonna be fine personally. Absolutely. Um, and I like the Bears' offense and defense. Where do you think they finish this year? Mm, second in the night division. I think the Vikings. Vikings. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't argue with that. I think the Vikings are gonna be good. I actually like Kirk Cousins more than most people do. Yeah, Kirk Cousins is fine. You know what's interesting though is he has like uh like he's only won three games against a winning record team, like in his career. You ain't be getting these stats for him, man. <laughs> <laughs> the new that. name is Rainman, bro. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, it's, it's, so it's, real, it's real slim, but uh whatever, dude. I I'm like taking Chicago game. Homer pick. I do think Denver stays in the game, but I think this is actually close. I don't think it's a close one, man. No, you think they're going to blow him out the water? Yeah. Offensive aid looked really bad last game. Joe Flacco is bad, dude. I'm sorry. Okay. And honestly, and we do have a really strong defense, so that's a yeah. good point. They, yeah. they can get after him. That's a good And uh, last week, everybody's, you know, waiver wire darling was Cortland Sutton. He had like 125 yards and two touchdowns or something like that. And uh, yeah, buying it. get ready to be disappointed this week. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm saying, man. Leave him on the bench. Chicago's legit, man. So. Appreciate that. Uh, New Orleans, and this is my game of the week. New Orleans, L.A., Rams. Okay. In, in L.A. In L.A.? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I've got the Rams. Okay. Uh, it's fine on that. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Brees usually struggles when he's not at home. So, uh, they had a tough game against uh, Deshaun Watson and the Texans. He's going to be coming off a short week. They're a good team, though. Yeah, for sure. Um, I don't believe L.A. You don't believe L.A.? I don't believe them. They let the Panthers hang around, man. I don't believe them. Yeah. I think their defense is good, but it's not great. Yeah. I think that, um, I think Goff has almost too much offensive firepower. I, 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 listen, listen, I know that sounds weird to say. Yeah. But sometimes I kind of feel like when you have so many good players and you're a young QB like him, you feel like you got to hit everybody. Yeah. And because you walk in that locker room and somebody's not getting the ball and somebody's going to have an issue. Because if you're in the NFL, you have the, the type of personality where you're alpha. You want you want to shine. You're not yeah. there to just... So I just feel like maybe he has too much to do. You know, there's too many choices he has to make. And I don't know that he's great at disseminating information, in my opinion. He's been good, but I think he's had Gurley who's been awesome to, to back him up with. A lot of QBs aren't... They have to have... They can be running back dependent for the running back to draw folks in to open up the, the offense. And I think he's been very lucky to have that. I think if you had a bad uh, running back in there, he, he wouldn't be as good as he is. Yeah, I can, I can see it, man. they got a nice committee rolling right now. Uh, Malcolm Brown scored two touchdowns last week. He was backing up Todd Gurley directly. Um, Which is how you feel if you're Todd Gurley about that. I'd be like, I hey, know, man, man. I'd be like, hey, it, man, um, you know who I am, dude, right? Todd Gurley, <laughs> Todd Gurley got paid, bro. And he has arthritis. <laughs> he like, he like yeah. all right. He's got arthritis do, he's in his He's like, knees. do you. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's got arthritis in his knees, bro. He, he might just be happy to be taking a rest. Yeah, that's so. facts. That's facts. So who you got? I got the Rams. You got the Rams? Yeah. The only, You know, the only X factor for me is Alvin Kamara. Every time Alvin Kamara touched the ball against the Texans last week, I thought, okay, he's going to take a 75 yards to the house right now. Every single time, bro. Yeah. He's electrifying. Yeah. So. Kamara is great. Yeah. They still got Michael Thomas. Yep. Um, Michael Thomas. And the defense is bad. Marshawn Lattimore is a baller, dude. So. I'm actually going to go New Orleans on this. And I feel like because, uh, A, this is a revenge game for them. They're mad. They're still mad. Oh, because yeah. Because the way that, that game ended last game. year, I mean. Yeah. So so they got, they got and, and, and the thing about Drew Brees is 
He's a nice guy, but he be going for blood. Like if yeah. if you do something like that to him, he don't forget it. He yeah. he has that chip on his shoulder. So I'm actually it's gonna be another close one to me. It's gonna be like a shootout, but I think this is gonna come down to be between three and seven points. This is gonna be like a touchdown or yeah. a field goal type of game. I'm actually gonna Saints take always it. hang around. Will Lutz is one of the best kickers in the league. He is. Yeah, he's got ice water in his veins now. So all right, so um, last game of the schedule: Philly and Atlanta. Who you got? It's so tough for me, man, because. Coming to this offseason, I was really high on, on Atlanta, bro. They've got like three games not in a they dome were not this season. Last. They got like two or three games not in a dome this season. And Matt uh, Matt Ryan shines when he's in a dome. <laughs> and Matt Ryan pisses me off to the nth degree of pissing me off. Because I had him as a fantasy quarterback, and he uh-huh. is the most inconsistent person on the face of the planet. Yeah, he's inconsistent. It's garbage. Because some games you go, this dude is ridiculous. Yeah. And some games you go, what? Get him off the field, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, know, I, man. I, I, I have a lot of issues. Uh, yeah, but that offensive line's bad. And they lost uh, Matt Lindstrom, the rookie guard that they drafted. They lost him to IR to like a foot fracture, I think. Um, that offensive line's bad. Devontae Freeman really struggled last week. Uh, the only person that really did well in the offense was Julio Jones. Uh, well, he got paid, yeah, too. He got paid, too. And good for them because he deserves yeah, it. He check. does deserve yeah. it, man. Calvin Ridley. Uh, he had a decent game when you look at the stat line, but he didn't have a good game when you look at the whole picture. He had like one or two catches at the very end of the game, garbage time situation where it worked out for him, you know what I mean? But uh, Padded stats, not exactly. real stats, padded stats. Um, so, uh, I'll how about Deshaun you? Watson in Philly, though? You mean uh, uh, Deshaun? Carson? No, oh, Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson. Deshaun Jackson's a baller, bro. And I don't care what anybody ever says about that man, dude. He'll go out there, he'll run fast, and he'll catch the deep bomb. I love everything I've seen, especially yeah, because it's like a return. Yeah. It's like it's like full circle, and he's balling again. Yeah, I love man. it, dude. And I like him too. He's a little bit of a punk, but I like like I like uh, Baker Mayfield. I like a little bit of a punk. Yeah. You gotta have a little of that, like you know, fuck you. You know, yeah, like exactly, a little of that. Sure. I like that. Um, so you got Philly? I got Philly. Yeah, I believe in Carson Wentz. Uh, I don't think he is like you know when he is, is he top ten. I don't think he's top ten, okay. but I think he's a winner, and uh, he's definitely not. In my opinion, a this is he's not a top five fantasy quarterback. I don't think he's ever gonna light up the the stat boards. You know what I mean? But uh, he had a couple. So this is what his fourth season. Fourth, yeah. He's had a couple seasons where he did actually put up some pretty good points. Yeah, but he's never more thrown more than like forty three hundred yards. Yeah. And I don't think he's ever thrown more than thirty two. He doesn't touchdowns. throw deep balls a lot too, which is interesting that he has Deshaun yeah. and Deshaun's ball. This could be the year though, bro, because yeah. Deshaun yeah, Jackson's yeah, a ball. Yeah. Alshon Jeffrey still got it, man. I don't know. I was mad when we let him go. I think they should have kept him. I didn't understand that at all. That that bugged me a lot because he makes see the thing about some receivers is you need possession receivers. Yeah. Dudes that third and ten, give, give him a twelve yard pass to Holland. Yeah. You need and he's that yeah. guy to me. So Absolutely, man. That, that that bugged me a lot when I let him go. Yeah. But uh okay, so we've gone through the schedule. So I'm gonna run through the picks again real quick. I wanna do after this, I wanna get into our fantasy lineups this week. I think that's a good thing we should touch on. And then we'll talk about a few other things and we'll wrap things up. But um let's see here. So uh you took Cincy, I took San Francisco, mm-hmm. we both took the Chargers, we both took the uh Vikings. Uh, we both took Tennessee. We both took New New England. That those are kind of easy. Yeah. Uh, we both took Buffalo. We both took Pittsburgh. Uh, we both took Dallas. We both took Baltimore. We both took Houston. We both took uh, Kansas City. We both took Chicago. You took the Rams. I took the Saints, yep. and uh, we both took Philly. So. Yeah. Uh, if anybody's watching and wants to know what to place your bets on, we just hit you off with the bets. All right, let's run, pick one of your teams, man. Run through a lineup real quick. All right, let me take a look real quick, man. While you're doing it, I, got, I can get mine pulled up. I only have one to choose from. So. All right, <laughs> I'm just going to go to my uh, the league I won in last week. Let's there you go. There you go. <laughs> so in this league, I drafted Pat Mahomes last year in like the 14th round. So I kept him at a 13th round value this that's year. That's awesome. So that's kind of been like my cornerstone. But uh, I'm starting Pat Mahomes against Oakland. I'm starting DeAndre Hopkins against Jacksonville. I have no fear of Jalen Ramsey covering DeAndre Hopkins. I think DeAndre Hopkins is the best wide receiver in the league. You know, I, I, I've always like uh, moved DeAndre Hopkins down based on height, but he's so good. And he's, every time I do that, I look so stupid because he just goes crazy. He does, man, absolutely. And he's he's like 5'11", man. Yeah. He's like Steve Smith. <laughs> I know, man. Remember Steve Smith? Yeah. Stupid, I love man. Steve Smith. <laughs> Steve Smith is, <laughs> has a special place in my heart, bro. Did you see when he was out on the field, that he was at a uh, Carolina thing, and he was telling the dude that he wasn't going to play him in fantasy? He was, like a, he was like a rookie or something, too. He was like, should I play you? Like, I shouldn't play you, should I? Like, it, was, yeah. it was just hilarious. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, I'm rolling out Calvin Ridley because I don't have a better option there. 
Uh, John Brown I'm rolling out against the Giants. I love Josh Allen's arm talent, and I love John Brown in that offense. He had a really successful He's week last can. week. Dude, the and the yards. Giants are trash, dude. Yeah. And yeah. I will start everybody. Big points the <laughs> big, big points uh, there, right? I'm starting on Johnson, Detroit running back against the Chargers. Is on Johnson good? I don't know about him. Either. I think he's good, man. Okay. You know what's really frustrating to me is last – is to watch a running back take the block, look like the best running back on the field, and then this dude's still bringing in C.J. Anderson in the next play. And it's like, stop it, dude. Yeah. So the coaching is frustrating, but I think you can stick with your guy here. Uh, the Chargers weren't that great against the run last week. We'll see what happens. Uh, I look for this to be a good bounce back game. Um, I'm actually going to start Miles Sanders over David Montgomery. I'm in wait and see mode for David Montgomery. This is the same issue that I had with uh, Matt Patricia and Carryon Johnson and C.J. Anderson. Last week, David Montgomery looked like the best running back on the field for the Chicago Bears, man. And they kept rolling out. What like the hell was that? That that was. I almost wanted to get on the, the horn with Nag. Yeah. You know I got his number. I yeah. wanted. <laughs> I was no. I was mad as hell. I was like, bro, what are you doing, man? He kept don't don't get fancy. Mike Davis, yeah, don't dude. get fancy. Yeah. <laughs> it was what, like what he was trying doing? to be cute, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Mike Davis' yeah. bum ass off the yeah, field. Yeah, man. yeah. I don't think Mike Davis is terrible. I just don't think he should have had anywhere near that amount of carry. I don't think so. Yeah, man. no. I he. I guess. I don't know if this is true, but I heard the commentator saying in that game that they were repeatedly saying Mike Davis was the best route runner in that backfield. Tariq Cohen's amazing, dude. Yeah, you want to use to cre- yeah. if you want to use David Montgomery as a first and second round back and use Tariq Cohen as a third down pass catching back. I have no problem with that. Sense. Tariq Cohen's great, dude. Yeah. He's he and, and the thing is he he's not getting utilized the way he should no. be. And he's a utility player, yeah. man. Yeah, he's not back like he's not a between the tackles runner, but he has yeah. outside speed. He's well, and you talking runner. about a third down, and the Bears are in a lot of third and seven, third and ten yeah, situations. So. Third and forty. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I, I had to I double can't. check. Bro. I've been embarrassed in a long time. <laughs> I had to double check. I don't check. get shocked by anything I was anymore. Like, well, does that is that saying what I think it is? Am I getting old? <laughs> Am I reading this correctly? Yeah. Uh, anyways, so I'm going to be starting uh, Miles Sanders instead of Carryon Johnson or not Carryon Johnson, David Montgomery, just because I'm going to wait and see mode for that backfield. Okay. Uh, Evan Ingram. Okay. Who is going to go off? Why is he been so good? Because the Giants are terrible, dude. No, you got man, I've. They're so bad that I could I forgot about them. <laughs> They're so bad I forgot about them. All I think about is Saquon Barkley on that team. Yeah. Evan Ingram is a great tight end, and guess what? He can't pass block. Do so you know what that means? He's or getting, he can't run block. He's getting thrown to. So all he gets is yeah, pass yeah, catches, yeah. Bro. The only time yeah. he's out there is to catch the ball. I don't ball. want yeah. him to run block, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run a route, yeah, yeah, yeah. catch a pass. He should be back there. Yeah. Don't put him back there. And yeah. what I really love about Evan Ingram is this season, the Giants are going to transition to Daniel Jones. It's just a matter of time. Yeah. And the tight end is a release valve for rookie quarterbacks. Real quick. Oh, big fact. Real quick, Jackson Martin, what's up, man? Glad to have hey, you in up, here. Me going? get wins. Glad to have you in here. We're talking about a lot of fantasy stuff right now. The homie Big Laidlaw is a football expert. He's giving you picks. He's giving <laughs> you He's giving you his uh, breakdown for his fantasy league this week. We've had a lot of good questions. So you guys ask questions if you got them. Um, also, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, absolutely, join us absolutely. every week. We'll be doing this uh, every Friday. Oh, shit. Saturday. Every, every Saturday. Saturday we do it probably about the same time, about 7 o'clock. Uh, no, 7.30. We'll hop on and we'll get it popping. So uh, let us know if you got questions. Now is the time. What's happening? Go on. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine, man. It's fine. So I love having room in this matchup. It's going to be Saquon. Every- that's it. Yeah. So, and you're uh, right. You made a good point about Daniel Jones. He will, he has to get rolled out now. Yeah. I mean, otherwise, what are they doing? Yeah, they're wasting I mean, they're, they're a bad franchise anyway, but that's just, come on. Yeah. Um, I'm rolling out Will Fuller against Jacksonville as well. It's kind of the same deal. This something Will Fuller. He's so inconsistent. He's injured, man. Like not all the time, but he's he's had a rough career. I think he is hyper talented. I think that he is. Because I thought Will Fuller was nice too, but he just doesn't pan he out. He runs so man. fast that his hamstrings just break, bro. They just fall apart. <laughs> he's so fast, man. They're like getting disintegrated in the back of his leg. Hey, so the homie me got wins. Got a question for you. Right, he says, up, "Do I start uh, Lamar Murray, AP, or Gio Bernard?" That's the first one. We got another question. Follow. I got Lamar Murray, so uh, Latavius Murray. Excuse me, Latavius I can't read. Murray. I got Latavius Murray, and I'm thinking about if I should play him. But he said, "Do I start Latavius Murray, AP, or Gio?" AP. AP is the starter in Washington. Darius guys got placed on IR. You don't think uh, Chris Thompson is going to cannibalize a lot of his time though? No. Uh, well, because he gets a lot of pass catches. It's, a, it's, it's, the same, a lot. it's the same deal, man. It's negative versus positive game scripts. And what is that? Hold on. What does that mean? <laughs> because okay. I don't know what that means. When a team is in a negative game script, it means that. They're playing game catch-up. script. Game script. They're okay. playing catch up. Okay. So they're passing the ball. They don't have. Okay. They can't run the ball. Okay. Um, it's you don't tough. think Washington's gonna be passing a lot this week? I do. Which is why I think Chris Thompson's gonna get. Yes, but I'd still start AP over both those guys. Okay. What's wrong with Tavis Murray? I got him, and Nothing. I think I run him out. But uh, last week, it was the. He had like ten points though. Eleven points. Did he? Yeah. He's flexing him. 
Is this hey, uh, me get wins? Is this for a flex or is this uh, for your your, your RB one or RB two spots? What about you? No, no love for Joe. Joe makes sense healthy, man. He yeah, practice yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. All right, so we'll get back to that. So uh, let us know me get wins where you're putting these folks. Uh, Jackson Martin has a question. He says, "Diddy Westbrook or Tech Ginn?" Diddy Westbrook. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's tough because I loved DD in this offseason with Nick Foles because Nick Foles targets the slot receiver. Nick Foles ain't there. He's not there anymore. So we don't know what we're going to see with Gardner Minshew. Uh, last week he liked DJ Shark a lot. Um, but So I, who, who do they have this week, though? Um, Jacksonville? They're playing... Uh, oh, my God. They're playing Houston. Yeah, they're playing Houston. Man, Houston has a good D, so it, it they're may gonna be... be passed, dude. So he's talking about RB2 for uh, Latavius AP or uh, Geo. Starting my RB2. AP. AP. I personally, I, I don't have the Tavius in my lineup, but I, I, I'm i thinking about putting him in there. I don't think AP is going to be a bad look. AP had a good season last year. He did. He still had 1,000 yards. Of yeah, and, 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 and AP is one of the greats of all time. I actually can't see anything wrong with that thing. If you do, I, I, I don't know. I feel like Chris Thompson is going to get a lot of love on the past. I love game. Chris Thompson. Yeah. I'm starting him in this league. But if you don't have Chris Thompson, I'd start AP. Okay, so he's saying go AP. I can't, I can't disagree with that at all. Did you get through your lineup? Uh, and for Jackson, go with D.D. Westbrook. Yeah, Wolf Fuller. Uh, I'm starting Marvin Jones and Chris Thompson. You know what I like? I wish I had a drive. It's Kenny Galladay. I like Kenny Galladay, too. I, like I didn't like the price on him this season. Too much. Yeah, too much too, to be a blow. Yeah, I wasn't going to pay for that. So in my league, I've got Brady coming out. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's going to. But you know what they might do to piss me off? They might run the ball a lot. And I swear to God, I'm going to go find Belichick if they do. I want passes up the field all game <laughs> long. That's all that should happen. Um, I got Connor going. I thought about it actually because he was so bad last week, but he didn't get a lot of touches. Mm -hmm. And I don't love uh, Seattle. I don't love anything about their team. Yeah. Um, and I think Big Ben and, and company need to have a comeback game. And I think I think Tomlin's pissed. So uh, I got Ingram uh, going against the Cardinals. I think that's a no-brainer. I got I still got Juju Smith out there as well. I don't know, man. I'm a little worried about Juju. I drafted him high. I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh, I think that offensive last offense last week was. Um, being ran incorrectly. I don't know okay. why you would ever throw ten passes to Dante Moncrief. He was like, he was like, <laughs> yeah, I, know. You know, I, I, I know. was going like, bro, for real. He looked like he was a DB. It was, it like, was, yeah, your hands did. are so bad. You should be playing DB. I, could, I couldn't imagine how he. Uh, all right, so we got another question from the homie Miguel right, Wins. He says Deshaun Jackson or Emmanuel Sanders. Deshaun Jackson. I'm yeah, not I think that's Broncos easy. Yeah, this. I think that's uh, easy. Now, that's. I would flex Emmanuel Sanders if that was my best option. I don't feel uncomfortable playing Emmanuel Sanders. I feel uncomfortable playing Cortland Sutton. But Emmanuel Sanders is a great wide receiver, man. and I wouldn't feel awful about it, especially because of the routes that he runs, and Joe Flacco likes to do shallow targets. Yeah, so, that's, that's, good, that's good info, though. That's, yeah. And that's insider info. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, uh, if you if you join us in the, in the chat right now, please hit the like button. We got seven people watching. We got three likes. Hey. So like button also man hit the subscribe button we're gonna be at this every absolutely, week saturday absolutely. nights at 7 30 so the homie jackson martin says kyler miller kyler murray or cam newton going forward going forward kyler murray. so so the, so the homie big lay law says cam kyler newton. murray get as far away from cam newton as you you, you are really low on cam. i love cam has cam been durable for I seasons i love cam newton but why are you so low all of a sudden because I mean, that's he's, bad. he's hurt and what concerns me even more is the team's lying about it they're like oh he's fine he's not fine man He's not what you expect him to say, though? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not fine. Anything with the thing. <laughs> okay. So, uh, going back to the homie Miga wins question. So, he was saying that was his flex for Deshaun or, or Emmanuel, but you're saying run out Deshaun. I like, I love Deshaun Jackson forever. He's my guy, man. <laughs> forever. <laughs> forever, dude. So, uh, uh, Miga wins says his wide receivers are Keelan Allen and Mike Evans. I think those are solid. Yeah, Don't get too. I, but I hate fucking and right now, the Buccaneers. People are concerned. Man. People are concerned about Mike Evans because the Buccaneers are trash. I know, but he's still got like eight targets. Because I got, because I got OJ Howard. They missed him. The end. Oh, drop him. Drop. Bruce Arians doesn't target the tight end, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> that, that would explain this. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't. Target, <laughs> he doesn't target the tight end. It's not. It's the last possible thought. Okay. And Jameis Winston's enough. trash. But Davis Winston is hot garbage. They missed Mike Evans on a touchdown in the first quarter. Yeah, first quarter they missed Mike Evans on a touchdown. Don't get too concerned. People are panicking a little bit and they're trying to trade him off for cheaper. Don't get too concerned. Mike Evans will figure it out. Chris Godwin is playing that Larry Fitzgerald role from when Bruce Arians was running the uh, Cardinals offense. 
But uh, Mike Evans is in that John Brown role. John Brown had like a thousand yard receiving and eight touchdowns that year. So, okay. Don't get too concerned. Getting through the rest of my lineup here, uh, I got uh, Brandon Cooks. I I'm questioning this, okay, because I got Fitzgerald, and I've liked Larry Fitzgerald forever, okay. And I think he's gonna give. I think he's gonna get some passes. I think he's gonna get some big yards. I think he's the greatest wide receiver of all time. Having Jerry Rice, he died. No, but he always had Hall of Fame quarterback thrown to him. Okay, there's an argument there. Yeah, there's Larry an argument Fitzgerald. There. So, so let me tell you. Let me ask you. Uh, you're the czar. Should I go uh, Fitzgerald or should I go Cooks? Because all the stuff I'm reading says Cooks gonna have a rebound game. They're gonna target him more. But I can't have Fitz go out for another Cooks. 20 points. You think Cooks? Cooks? Okay. He's going to be covered by... Oh, uh, God. What's that? Uh, oh, man. Apple. What's his first name? EJ? EJ Apple? What is his name? Eli? Eli Apple. Yeah. He's going to be covered by Eli Apple. Okay. He's trash. You'll, you'll I remember him. He was with the Giants, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah awesome. I remember him being bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I was going to stick with Cooks anyway because I'm trying to just ride my lineup out. I'm going to yeah. get rid of OJ Howard because he's... Don't get too cute, man. Okay. I got Allen Robinson going in Chicago. I'm going to leave him there because I, I believe I love Allen Robinson. He's good. And yeah. he was the best part of that Bears game, man. He had like seven, yeah, he catches, oh, yeah, seven catches for 107 yards or something like that. I got the Rams D against New Orleans. I might need to make a move yeah, on that. Make a that that on might that be dirty. And I don't have another defense, so that might be something that happens. Uh, and then I got Justin Tucker. I love Justin Tucker as a kicker. Justin, yeah. It, sorry too. if the stream is laggy, bro. That's the internet. We got a storm out here and we're in Arizona, man. It is what it is. But uh, I got Latavius Murray on my bench and I got... Uh, Fitzgerald, the two players on my bench that I... Randall Cobb actually had a good game last year. I got him on my bench as well, but I don't think I'm gonna I mean, he is... They are playing the uh, the Redskins, which I feel like might open him up for some uh, opportunities, but I feel like they got a pretty good receiving core out there. So. Yeah. So. Yeah, I would wait and see on Randall Cobb. Yeah. You're not buying... You're not buying... You're not drinking the Kool-Aid I, I haven't believed in Randall Cobb since, like, four years ago. Wow. So he was, what, uh, Green Bay? Yeah. All right, let's... Uh, move along here. I'm gonna actually close this music stream out since the stream is lagging so badly. I don't want folks is in here trying to show us some love. I want to make sure that we ain't got too much going on. Let's talk sleepers this week. Sleepers. Let's right, talk man. sleepers. So I got a couple up here just pulled up from various websites. Uh -huh. I'll run through those and then if you have a uh, commentary on them, we can uh, talk about it. So, um, Josh Allen. You love Josh Allen. I you love are huge Josh, on Josh Allen. Allen. Yeah. I have drafted Josh Allen in two separate leagues as my QB1. My, wow. My And in fact, my only quarterback on my team. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I am a proponent of the late quarterback strategy okay generally there's well okay there's 32 starting quarterbacks man I, I'm, I'm gonna cut you off i'm sorry i just i like to get to the question the folks yeah, have, they, they're rocking with us um if dd westbrook if you said dd westbrook for wide receiver two should i put tag in a b or kiki kuti and my flex i don't know is that right kiki oh Kuti? god um oh man i would put I guess Ted Ginn in that situation. Uh, AB, I don't think he's gonna play this week. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, you you, I, you mentioned that uh, Belichick said nah. Yeah, he says he still has time to learn the offense, and, uh, and he did that with uh, who they grabbed last year. Maybe it was Josh Gordon. Um, I thought he was gonna play early, and I put him in like as soon as I, I had think a he chance sat a to. Week or two, yeah, yeah, he did. He definitely did. Uh, so that's rough, man, and I'm that's a rough situation. You made it repeat it too, or do you remember? It? No, I remember. It. Okay, I guess I would play Ted Ginn. It's just a shot in the dark, man. Kiki Kuti's coming off an injury. Okay. And he's Who's always, he played for? I don't even know who that is. Houston. Who's he played for? He plays for Houston. Slot wide receiver for Houston. Is he, has he got any looks? He's awesome. But he's hurt. He's always hurt. Mm. And it's a, it's actually depressing because when he was healthy, he was it's like a two or three game stretch where he was healthy last season. He for was him. balling out. He was balling out, man. Yeah. He was great. But So that's what the homie... You, uh, uh, you can possibly monitor the health situation of Kiki. If he gets a full clear, full participant, play him. But so uh, so to answer your question, if Kiki is healthy 100 percent or at least 80 percent, I would guess. Yeah, roll with him. If they say they're gonna roll him out, I would roll him out. Yeah. So if he so if Kiki's playing, going with Kiki. If not, go with Ted Ginn. AB. I don't. I think you're right. I don't think AB's gonna play this week. I don't think, I so. think you're right. Um, okay. Sorry. You were talking. We were talking good. sleepers. We were talking Josh Allen. And you oh, were saying you love yeah, the guy. There's 32 quarterbacks in the league. Where do you rank him? Because you are like high. You are <laughs> high on him, man. I think he finishes a top 10 fantasy quarterback this season. Wow. He had a good week one. He dropped like Buffalo, huh? Yeah, dude. And you know why, man? Because for every 10 yards that a quarterback runs, it's a point. Whereas for every 25 yards they throw, So they're saying A.B. going to play. Where is he saying that A.B.'s going to play? That's what the Jackson and me get wins. The two folks that are uh, pretty responsive in our stream are saying he's playing. Did that just happen? Ian, like Ian Rappaport has reported it. And that just happened like since we've been live or what? 
Well, they say Ian Rappaport just just reported. If, if AB's out there, I would run him. Yeah, I, I, if I, AB I would plays, just, I would yeah, play. Yeah, if, if AB's out there, run him out there. Yeah, because they don't they don't throw him the ball. I haven't been watching like the news wire right this second. Yeah, yeah, no, and it's probably pretty recent. Hey, fellas, or I'm sorry, one of y'all could be women. I don't want to be. Um, but uh, was that a recent thing? It sounds like Ian Rappaport just came out that report. But yeah, if AB's playing, run him out. Run him out big time because Brady is licking his chops. You know Brady told me he could stay at his crib. I wouldn't have yeah. AB in my crib. No, I wouldn't man. want AB in my crib. Especially with either. the rape rape allegations. No, I wouldn't you, want him there for anything. You can man. stay in my, my dog's house. No, I know. So Josh Allen is your hot take to be a top ten quarterback this year. I, I think he finishes a top ten fantasy quarterback this year. Okay. I'm not saying. No, not in the league. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Top ten yeah. fantasy quarterback. Okay. Um let's go back to the joint I had it. Did I lose it? I might have lost it. That would be trash if I did. But I especially like him this week against the Giants. The Giants are trash. Giants I've been saying it all night. The Giants. Are yeah, you know, you, you don't like them as a uh, Chris Thompson. Okay, so this is what happened. Making the trip, expect to play, will be a fascinating situation to watch. Antonio Brown is making the trip to Miami. Eleven hours ago, I missed that. That means that mean he's playing though, because it doesn't mean he's playing. He's yeah, I find that, I find that questionable. Yeah. I think he's gonna play though. I don't I don't see why they wouldn't run him out there. Yeah. Let him make mistakes. You got Brady. You got a garbage team. It's not gonna cost you a lot yeah. if he messes something up. For sure. Um, Chris Thompson. Uh, I love him this week. The Redskins are going to be a negative game script. I think both. They said he, in 2018, he finished second on the team with targets when Washington is trailing, and they'll probably be trailing in this game. When he's healthy, he's great, dude. It's just another I situation. got him too. Should I run him out? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see. Uh, are you in a... I got, in a I, got, I got James Conner, and I got a... Are you in a half-point PBR or a full-point PBR? Half-point. Half-point, yeah, either way. I got James Conner, and I got a Ingram. No. I could run him in a flex, but... I got Robinson in there at the flex. Take a look. Take a look in, 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 in here. Let me just connect. And tell me what, oh. your, what your thoughts are. Oh. Um. <laughs> so, okay. Well, look. If AB's, I would, uh, yeah, I'd start him over. Um, that sucks, dude. Yeah, it's a tough situation, right? That's tough because I think Mark Ingram's going to ball out. I'm not taking on Ingram. I think he's going to. I mean, he's in Arizona. He should be able to have. At least a touchdown, if not more. Nah, leave it as is, man. I think uh, what's going to happen is, yeah, like I said, they're going to be a negative game, game script. They're going to be passing that ball a lot, and Chris Thompson is a threat out the backfield. Terry McLaurin, too, wide receiver for the... Uh, Terry McLaurin, I don't even know that name. That's good. The, uh, for the... Uh, well, fellas, if you Redskins. feel like AB, if they feel like AB's playing, run AB out. That's yeah. not even a conversation. But you need to monitor that, because all he's saying is he's expected to play. So if last minute it comes out, that he isn't playing and you're asleep because you haven't woken up yet. Right, right, right. Like, it's ten thirty and you yeah, still get on you. You still get your Z's in. Yeah, like they uh, got Gio Bernard is asleep this week. I don't like that man. No, and, I mean he might come in and relieve Mixon a little bit depending on how the ankle's feeling, but Mixon practices full on Friday. So yeah, pass. I oh, don't do pass on Friday, but he he practiced full week he, of practice. Yeah, full week. Yeah. Or no, Friday he came back to practice. He was resting that ankle, but I like Mixon, man, and I. Don't, you think he's going to get the lion's share to carry though? If, if he's still kind of nursing his ankle injury, yeah, he'll stay with the lion's share. Okay, yeah. so he so 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 the homie Big Lay Law saying don't 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 buy the uh, Geo juice. DK Metcalf. Um, I'm assuming that they're going off the Steelers DB situation for that. So um, Wisman says uh, based on this measurement, one of the big winners, DK, 31 percent overall target share uh, for the Seattle Seahawks, 50 okay. percent high yield target. I don't know what that means, but that's uh. Okay. Like deep passes. Okay. Um, the problem with that is, is they threw twenty times, so he got thirty percent of twenty. So right? the sample size isn't that yeah. large. It's not like they, they threw the ball twenty times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's not sample. Um, so he took thirty percent of twenty targets. I like him, but I don't what like thirty percent of twenty targets. Six, seven. Six. <laughs> yeah, it's not much. Yeah, yeah. I don't like rookie wide receivers. Why not? They Bad routes. Um, wide receiver for whatever reason transitioning from college to the NFL always has the hardest time to make that transition. So. Of course, every once in a while you'll see a fantastic rookie wide receiver season, but the percentages that, of those are much smaller than the rest, right? Gotcha. And DK, coming out of college, he had stiff hips. His hands were a little questionable. Uh, stiff hips, that's truly some scout stuff. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. He actually had, like, some of the worst times ever for, like, the shuttle routes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Stiff hips. But, I mean, he ran a 4-3 and he It's not like you're trying to, like, disrespect yeah. the girl. Your hips are stiff. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But, yeah, I mean, he's a freak, but we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. So, you're not buying the DJ Metcalf juice? I mean, just like Calvin Ridley. Last season, Calvin Ridley had, like, a three-touchdown game. You know what I mean? That could happen at any time in the season. But over the longevity, like, of the season, 
It's not going to happen as often. Yeah, it's not going to happen gotcha. as often for a rookie gotcha. wide receiver. Gotcha. James Washington from the Steelers. I like this. Uh, Tell me why. I don't know anything about this man. So James Washington uh, was drafted last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know enough about him. Okay. But, I mean, he was. I know he was highly touted coming out of college. Not like first-round talent or anything. But You know what he's out of? Uh, no, you'd have to look it up. No worries. But I know that the Steelers were ha- really happy about drafting him. You know, uh, Dante Moncrief ain't getting no more throws. Those got to be exactly. somebody else. Dante Moncrief took 10 targets last week. Yeah, That's not going to happen so again. Bad, yeah. He dropped half of them, if not more. I mean, that, that was the worst. He let one hit him in the chest. Time. I'm like, kids do that. Yeah. You know, like when the ball's coming to them, they, they can't, receivers can't, kids let it come to their chest and go like this. Yeah. You know, he did that. I'm like, what, what are you doing, man? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, so I just, I think they're going to try to change up that offense. And James Washington has been there for two years now. They're going to roll him out, give him his chance. I like it. I mean, I wouldn't roll him out because I like to monitor that situation. I would roster him. Okay, you, you just have him in the, in the wings waiting. All right. Yeah. Danny Amendola, Lions. Uh, Cardinals are a bad defense, man. So I think people are getting a little too hyped. I think he's out there in a lot of leagues, too. Amendola. Yeah, he is out there. Yeah. You can get him. Um, I think he's a good slot wide receiver, but I don't think he, he is dependable for those touchdowns every single week. He had that one big touchdown that really put his points over the top. I don't I'm I don't see it every week. Happening. They say he's going to play the Golden Tate role, which I can easily see that. They're similar. Yeah. They're definitely and, similar. And that's possible, but I think it's much more likely that it is a Julian Edelman role where it's consistent and it's good points, but it's not explosive points. Right. So you're, not, you're not putting him in to win a game for exactly. you. You're putting him in to, because, to get yeah. you what you need, yeah, the, exactly. the eight to maybe and 12 nothing points. Wrong with that, right, 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 right. If right, you right. have. Uh, Deshaun Jackson and big play guys, and then you're like, okay, I need a little bit of stability on my roster, and you throw Danny Amendola in there. But at the same time, I'm not in that situation because Danny Amendola has been in the league a long time, and he's never done that. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. So. And he had the benefit of Mr. Brady. I don't know. I just feel like in that offense, yeah. if you can catch the ball, you're going to do all right. Um, super sleeper, super sleeper, okay. Cole Beasley. Uh, and it's only 6% of ownership in the Yahoo League, yeah. which I find interesting. It's interesting to watch, but I don't see it, man. He didn't get enough of the targets to be a PPR value. In standard leagues, it's a no-fly zone, man. Don't even think about him in standard league because he's not going to be catching touchdowns. PPR leagues is where a guy like this holds value because he's going to get targets. But unfortunately, he didn't even get enough targets to be a value in PPR. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. I don't see Cole Beasley doing, doing a ton. I think he was one of these flashes in the pen. Yeah. And I don't see him. You know he's a rapper? Cole Beasley? Oh, I'm checking that out. Yeah, check is it he, out. Is he nice? He's not bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm checking out Cole Beasley raps. Yeah. I mean, I've heard worse, bro. You know what I mean? Cole so. Beasley seems like he's shotgunning beer with you. Oh, yeah. For yeah, sure. Yeah, he yeah. seems like a cool guy. But yeah. uh, Dare Ongumboale. Well, that game already happened and he was trash. All right. So. We talked about that. Yeah, it right. was on Thursday. We off that. Um, yeah. And I got another list up here just to go over it real quick. Yeah, There's only a few yeah. on this list. Um, oh, Darren Waller. You talked about him. Oh, yeah. I love Darren Waller. Uh, they got Kansas City, and, you, and they got a bad defense against yeah, Kansas City. And I've been talking about, I talked about him lengthy in the uh, game breakdown. Yes, so. you did. Tyler Boyd? Uh, yes. Um, I like Tyler Boyd. He back this week. John Ross had such an over-the-top game, and what's crazy is we, us as fantasy players, if you've been playing fantasy for a few seasons, like when John Ross came out and he broke that 40 time, 4-2-8 he ran, you know what I mean? I Everybody that, was yeah, like, yeah, oh, my God. Wasn't he here when he did that? Uh, no, no, no. What do you mean? John Brown, wasn't he drafted by no, the No, not guy? John Brown. John oh. Ross. Did I say John Brown? No, Brown. Oh, man, I didn't think so. Okay, yeah, John Ross. Ross. Yeah, John Ross. He's okay. been a bad yeah, yeah, the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, when he broke that, we were all salivating, right? We were all like, oh, my God, this is the next deep threat guy. And he didn't show that, but he was in Marvin Lewis's offense. So this is a new head coach, new offense, and he looks to be utilized. I think he tar- he received like 10 targets last week, and he caught like, 100, er, caught like six or seven balls for 160 yards and two touchdowns. So – it looks like everything we wanted it to be. You know what I mean? So sure. it's a situation to monitor. But at the same time, Tyler Boyd had the most Tyler Boyd stat line I've ever seen. It was like eight for 60 yards. Yeah. Actually, I have it written down. Yeah, eight of 11 <laughs> for 60 yards. I made note. So uh, real quick, uh, LL Ghost Dad, shouts for being here, man. What's up, Hit man? the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to the page. We appreciate you stopping through. He's got a question for you. Mark Ingram or Tyrell Williams in the flex? Mike, Mark Ingram. Mark Ingram. Yeah. Did I say Mike Ingram? No, I've been messing my names all night. Though. Okay. Because I've been doing that all night. Yeah, no, it's... Right. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, Mark Ingram's an easy play. bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They're going to be up. They're going to start running, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and then I think he said of John Ross, he said he's the nicest in the NFL. So, hey, shouts for being here. LL Goes Dead. Everybody here tonight will be live every Saturday at 7.30. We'll Absolutely. be doing this, yeah. breaking down games. Uh, my homie Big Laylaw is the... 
I mean, I don't know why you ain't somewhere in the league now, <laughs> bro. <bruh. laughs> no, no. Go get no. this money, man. <laughs> um, so, uh, anyway, okay, so you said Tyler Boyd is – you you buy that for a Yeah, you buy I it. mean, all it takes is him catching one touchdown, everybody's stoked, man. If this was nine for 65 and a touchdown, everybody would be fine with him, man. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, look for him to bounce back this week. And then this list has Zeke on it. I don't understand this. I feel like that's a start every week. I don't know yeah, where that conversation really comes from. from. So, all right, let's move along, man. We uh, have covered a lot, and it's been fantastic. Excellent. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um – Oh, then I guess we can just wrap up. Well, talk about who you think is uh okay. So I got a couple things on here. I don't know if you can answer these off the top, but I was I had top fantasy matchup and top fantasy defense. Okay, and those uh, are the same for me. But I'll let you well, think. We talked about, about our top fantasy matchups. Yes, we did. Uh, my top fantasy defense this week is. Um, let me know. I can run through the games if I need to. No, too. no, no. Do you have yours? Yeah. Do yours and explain why. Okay. It's going to be fairly easy, so I'll take my time. Okay, yeah. Speak slow. <laughs> I think the Patriots' defense is really good. Okay. I do think that... You take uh, an easy pick. I got it. Well, I mean, listen. It's, 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 I'm going but, off the top of my dome. You take the easy one. <laughs> <laughs> I throw that couple of games away. Um, so, I think that uh, last week, Pittsburgh was bad. But one thing I saw a lot of in that secondary was they were knocking balls loose. So they were bringing, I mean, outside of Don Tamaki, he's garbage. But they were catching passes that the Patriots DBs were just knocking to the floor after they caught them. And they yeah. did that consistently. And so I think they are really, I mean, I think all Belichick teams are well coached. They don't get a lot of penalties. Um, but I think that their defense is way better than anybody really realizes. And I think that they're going to go up early. And I think they're going to just sit on the ball. And they're going to get picks. I think they're going to get a lot of points. If you got the Patriots defense this week, I think you're doing okay. Yeah, I think you are too. Uh... Man, yeah, pull up the games for me, man. This is embarrassing. This is crazy. The hobby said, he said, so a couple of things. He This dude, LL Ghost Dad, is making some points. He said Ross went undrafted in all of his leagues, which is really interesting. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And then he That's said, because uh, we as fantasy players don't trust him. It's been a rough three years. People have been drafting him, and he hasn't done anything. So. And then he said, uh, Cole Beasley got the nicest floor in the league. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, bro. <laughs> uh, so I have to check that out. I'm going to pull these games up for you yeah, real quick. Like, no, you straight, you straight. Actually, let's go on to the next one. I do that. Yeah, um, for sure. Questionables. You want to run through questionables or people that are out this week? Uh, yeah, for sure, man. So hey, check um, this out. We gonna let you know who's not playing this week. This is for me. You know, one of my biggest failures in fantasy, bar none, is missing this stuff. Yeah. And having somebody get me a zero Absolutely. because I wasn't paying attention. That's yeah. the. You gotta hurts. pay attention. It man. hurts. And man. a lot of the times, this stuff will come out. You just gotta be aware. You know what I mean? You well, and it, a lot of it happens close to the game too. Exactly. Like you gotta be paying attention. You gotta be paying attention. You gotta be, have, and you have to be able to pivot, right? So that's why I always say like your morning guys. Play them in your morning positions, man. Even if it's not their top, even if it's not. What your, is that? What do you mean specifically? Or I'm not. I'm, excuse me. I'm sorry. Not your fine. morning position. Your your regular position. So like, if you have a guy playing in the morning game and you have him in your flex spot, move him to that running back spot. You mean run him, move him to that wide receiver spot, just so that these afternoon guys that you might be able to drop into those flex positions. If they end up getting hurt, you can pivot, man. You know what I mean? And you can change it to. There's more options for you to change that position out. You know, you got you get, so. you got like uh, extra analysis. You the Belichick of fantasy over here. <laughs> you crazy man. Shout out Belichick. Yeah, shout out Belichick. <laughs> but uh, some of the notable questionables is Joe Mixon. I think he's gonna play. He practiced on Friday. Seems like a full participant. Uh, and you think he's gonna get the ball? I you don't think, think he's gonna play, but you think he's gonna get the ball? Okay. Yeah, he's a good running back, and I don't see any reason why they wouldn't just give him the ball, man. Uh, I know that a couple days ago there was a little bit of a scare with Le'Veon Bell with a shoulder M MRI. Everything's all clear, man. It was a precautionary MRI, making sure that there was no damage and there wasn't, so he's going to be fine. Uh, Mark Ingram with his shoulder, he's going to be fine. Uh, Marquise Lee, I guess he has a knee injury. He's going to be out, but it doesn't really matter to me, man. Gardner Minshew's taking over at quarterback. Sixth Gardner round. Minshew. I like that name. Yeah, sixth-round rookie. Where's uh, he from? You know he's from? I have no idea, man. Yeah, I never heard of him until last week. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, but uh, he's a sixth-round rookie. We'll see. You know what I mean? That's a wait-and-see situation. See who he's going to like to target. But Marquis Lee, it doesn't matter, man. I think Marquis Lee is trash. Uh, Antonio Brown, y'all are telling me he's going to play. I was going to say non-injury out, healthy scratch, but if they're saying he's going to play. I think they're going to run him out. I told you earlier, I think they might just even yeah. the decoy. Just... We'll see what happens, man. Yeah. Uh, Pat Mahomes had a little bit of ankle issue after the last game. He's going to be fine. He's going to play. Uh, Juju, he had a... All right, let's wrap up with the top, your top defense of the week. I'm going to run through these games for you real quick. San Fran and Cincy. Uh, Chargers at the Lions, Vikings at. Oh, my top defensive league, Tennessee. Because I got to get the, the Rams out of there. That ain't that ain't gonna work. Yeah. Uh, the sacks and takeaways are what's worth points. You know what I mean? So. For sure. Uh, Buffalo against the Giants, I'd roll that out. The Buffalo. Uh, okay. Dallas I'm against Washington, it. I'd run that out. Dallas. Okay. And you know what? I would be willing to run the Ravens defense against the Cardinals. Ravens are one of the best defenses.